Hello, Queen. How are you? Hi. Oh my Hello. god, guys, this is goddess. Okay. Um, I didn't like mute your stream, so I'm like, oh, why do I sound weird? Oh, yeah, but... yeah. Do you wanna... <laughs> it might duplicate or something. Okay, perfect. perfect. Okay, okay. You sound, sound amazing. Okay, <laughs> okay cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Okay, so... Oh, it's opposite. You need to swap Oh my it. god! Okay, we had this problem. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we literally talked about how it was okay. I mean, we could be... Okay, anyways. Okay, so goddess on the left. And for some reason, I'm on the right because Discord hates me. Because now I'm looking the wrong way. Okay, so everyone go follow her. I put her social. She has a store. She's, a, she's literally a goddess. So guys, go check her out. <laughs> Thank you for calling it out. Hi, everyone. <laughs> yes. Oh, is it good now? Okay, okay. I'll... <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, it's cool, good. Cool. It's good. Okay, okay, cool. So, um, I guess the first question would be, or like not even a question, I guess tell us about yourself. This is not a job interview, so you can tell us anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, don't worry. Okay, so hi, my name is G, Soft Goddess, whatever you want to call me. Um... On my stream, we basically do like tarot. Um, sometimes I'm trying to implement a new thing where we look at um, the like monthly horoscopes, which is really, really fun. Um, I saw that a lot of people like that and we can like kind of look at our signs together. I have implemented playing games, but it's honestly, whenever I feel like it, it's kind of like a break to kind of let me like regenerate a little bit because mm -hmm. it is really tiring doing tarot all the time. And um, yeah, when you're doing it like three times a week, it gets really tiring. So I really admire the people that can do it every single day. That's like really, really cool. So, but we're not there yet, obviously. So yeah, so we do tarot games sometimes if people want to. Um, I'm from California. I'm about to turn 23 um, in June. Yay! So. <laughs> Your birthday's coming so. up. I know, so I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> I'm getting, I'm not old, I obviously don't look old, but, um, other things, um, I like crystals, honestly, I just kind of got into it, I have a few that I want to show you guys, but we'll get into that later, um, I like Sailor Moon, I like anything pink, um, from my stream, if you've been on my stream before, you kind of have, like, a feel, of what, like, my aesthetic is a little bit, so, but my room is kind of messy right now, and, um, it just looks really bright, but, um, Oh yeah, I have my own shop. I implement crystals into my um, jewelry. I make resin earrings, necklaces, all kinds of stuff. I even make candles too. If you guys want to check that out, Monk always like shares them on there. So <laughs> it's just really, really sweet of her. So yeah, if you guys want to check that out, I just opened my shop again. So if you guys want to look at it, it'd be cool. Mm -hmm. Um, I actually don't like talking about myself, but what else do I have to say? Um... So you do, like, many things. You also have, like, a full-time job. <laughs> oh, oh, am I supposed to talk about that, too? <laughs> no, you don't have to talk about your job. I'm just saying that this this woman is, like, on it. Like, she is working oh, and... Oh, okay. Like, it's insane. Yeah, so, so basically, I do have a full-time job. Um, I wake up at 4 in the morning. My job starts at 6. And then I leave at 2.30. And then I don't start stream until like 6.37. So in between that time, I try to like work out, relax, eat something, do something. Um, I used to like craft until like 11 or 12 at night. But since I wanted to start streaming again, I kind of now have to like my on the back burner a little bit. But I think it is a grateful sacrifice for right now. So... <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, I do. Uh, it does hurt to um, have to wake up so early and then stream a little like three, four hours and then do the same thing over and over and over again. That's why I like putting in little buffer like games sometimes just to like make things a little bit more lighthearted. But yeah, that's basically me. If you guys have any questions, you feel free to ask. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, sorry, my roommate is having fun. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Hi, Ginger. Hi, hi Vanessa. Hi. <laughs> um, so, I guess the first... Yeah, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I guess... Yeah, I'm so sorry, my roommate. It's like his day off and he like works a lot. So like he's just like playing like whatever game he's playing with his friends. So I told him to calm down a little, but I don't think we can control that. So if you hear screamings, it's Weiss. 
Um, yeah, so someone's- oh, Jetty, uh, your tattoo. You just got it, too. Oh, yeah, okay, so honestly, everybody always asks, what's- what's it mean? Um, I've just, like, I always see it all the time, and I've seen it since I was, like, in high school, so... It's just- it doesn't really mean anything, I just think it's cute. <laughs> Did you get and, the design and from somebody? And don't, worry, and don't worry, my dad already told me what spiderwebs on the elbow means. I already know. So, no, I didn't kill anybody. So, and I haven't been to prison. So, wait, I, I... <laughs> wait, what? I had no idea. <laughs> but yeah, that's what my dad said. That that that. He's like, obviously not, because there's a heart in the middle. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> no way. <laughs> uh, I know people get it because it's cool, but that's like the term for it. <laughs> Um, so <laughs> every tattoo somehow means you killed somebody. It's like body count. It just depends on where the placement is. <laughs> um, John says, "How much space do you have on your bed for yourself?" I guess because there's lots of like pillows. Um, like a good a good portion, to be honest. It's like it's a good space. Like just for my body, it's pretty good. <laughs> um. Okay, cool. Okay, so... Wait, are you streaming right now, too? Oh, I hosted you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because I'm like, wait, because I don't know if we get questions from your side. Okay, okay, cool. Um, also, okay, so I guess we can start with... I guess I have a question, just like one small thing. Is why... Mm -hmm. Okay, I know you probably won't know the answer, but why is everyone from California? Like, that's just what I... Like, everyone's um, from there. Probably, it, it, honestly, it's just probably they grew up there, or maybe their parents had money saved up, and they're like, oh, let's go here. You know, I don't honestly have that question, because I was born in Redwood City, and that's, like, across the bridge from, um, like, Oakland, Hayward, all that stuff. Um, that's across the bridge. So I moved, I was born there, and then crossed over to over here now, um, which is, like, the East Bay. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I've been here ever since I was like in elementary school. So, okay, it's been a really long time. So, uh, oh, I think um, someone asked um, what made you start streaming? Oh, geez, that's a <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> okay, so I actually started streaming in 2018, actually, and um, it was funny because I was telling Monk um a couple days ago that I used to stream Apex and um, Splatoon and like Osu and all that stuff. I used to stream that stuff, but I kind of stopped because I was like kind of getting harassed a little bit oh my because God. of how I looked. Yes. So I kind of stopped and it was like, it was just getting too much. So I stopped and then I started again because I actually had some friends who streamed like Dead by Daylight and stuff like that. So I was getting more into like, like Animal Crossing and more Splatoon, but I don't know. I think um my job was just getting in the way and i was like you know what i need to like manage my time better and i thought oh okay so i'm handling a shop and uh, my job's going pretty well so how about i start streaming again and it was really funny because when i was about to start streaming i saw monk's tarot stream and i was like okay <laughs> let's see how things go I and um and she i i remember i like stalked her tarot stream so much and um she kind of gave me the courage to start streaming Did you say so stalked? i was all like ah oh yeah totally i totally <laughs> stalked your stream all the time Stop, totally <laughs> it was the other way <laughs> so um so when you were like, yeah, keep going, like, if you want to stream, you should just do it or try and do it. Like, we know that, like, your family situation is not too great, but just try and do it. And I was just like, you know what? So I talked to my boyfriend and he put everything together and I was just like, yeah, so I was so happy. So thank you so much for giving me the, like, the courage to do it because I was really scared. And I don't, obviously the VOD's gone, but my first stream I did was, like, with my little person my little animated person Aww. so it took a while but i am really grateful hey. for you to be honest hey. so <laughs> Aww. honestly goddess i remember you asking like you were like in my chat because i was doing tarot cards and i was like i still am very new to it like because i'm just not as advanced but i remember you were like i kind of want to stream should i and then you're like oh I, I can't really do it at home i have to whisper in my room and i'm like girl do yeah it. <laughs> actually to be honest my first stream was actually at my boyfriend's house to be honest it was two of them and i was like 
fun. And then when I came here, I was like, oh my god, I need to be muffled. I need to be quiet. <laughs> yeah, you're like ASMR mode. But, but yeah, but now I'm totally comfortable. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> yeah, and your parents know like it's going on, obviously. Yeah, well, they know that I stream. Okay. I good. just tell them I stream games. That's it. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so, Aaliyah, Aaliyah, what was the first game you remember playing? Like, on stream or, like, ever, ever? I think it means, like, streaming-wise. Because mm. if the first game I ever streamed was Osu. I tried to so hard. <laughs> Do you still play it? It looks so difficult. Um, um, I think I just need a good PC. I think my gaming computer can handle it, and especially streaming it. I think I can definitely play it without streaming, but it's kind of no fun. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um... So Angelic says they liked it when you play Splatoon. Oh, I'm waiting for Splatoon 3 to come out, so... <laughs> Callie is a huge hub of entertainment. Two boyfriends. Wait, two boyfriends? Oh, definitely not. <laughs> no, Slicer, he's in the chat. That's my boyfriend. Oh, yeah, yeah okay. So, yeah, Slicer <laughs> is Goddess's man. Um, Callie is competitive as hell, though. You, really, you gotta really keep pushing and... Uh, keep your head down if you want to make it. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, there was this- I follow this girl who does like true crime videos, but she does makeup. And she took a photo of this antique sign today. And it literally said- Okay, it's a joke, so don't be triggered anybody. There- It, it was literally like too dumb for New York, too ugly for LA. And she was like, I should have bought that sign. And I was just like dying because it's so fucking dumb. <laughs> oh god. I'm already triggered. Okay, good. Perfect. Okay, um, <laughs> great. Okay, so uh, I have a question for you. Okay. So, because people were like, oh, how did you get into streaming? But my question is, how did you get into tarot card and all these things? Um, oh, man. Um, so this goes back, like, to, like, high school and stuff. Um, because my friend, um, so her grandma is like super into this stuff mm -hmm. so it wasn't until like she would talk to me about it and I, I really didn't know anything about it um other than like when i would go to church um i would they like bought me like a pink bible and whatever and oh, i um, would i would look through the index and i would see like witchcraft and like all this other stuff and i'd be like hmm okay. witchcraft let's so go. <laughs> i would be like oh okay so i would like look through like those pages and stuff and it'd be like oh people who do this would be this and this and this and this. say a bunch of bad stuff and whatever and i'm like okay well whatever and i would talk to my friend about it and she'd be like oh like like we would just go on like tumblr and stuff like it was always tumblr where we would look at like a bunch of stuff um and it wasn't until maybe when we graduated that she was actually showing me like cards and stuff and she actually let me borrow like a deck from her and i was just like okay cool so i would try to learn and um i know there's like this like ah. oh my god i'm so sorry <laughs> it's okay i'm so sorry my dad was asking me a question <laughs> it's okay. i'm so so sorry um but there was like this amino app okay i know there's like a bunch of toxic stuff on there um but there was like a tarot um community on there so i know my my other friend she does not like amino at all but that's where i learned a lot of stuff and that's where i got was like more comfortable like sharing my progress i guess i don't use it anymore because i you know i stream now and i can talk to more of my friends about it um that is like my hub of like, oh, okay, so this is what this means and this is what that means. Um, and I didn't full fledged lo like love it until like my mom was like, that is not allowed in this house. And I was like, oh, okay. Wait, that's what made you go. <laughs> so when your mom was like not okay with it, you're like, I'm. Well. I already knew she wasn't going to be okay with it. And she was like, she was like threatening like oh i'm gonna talk to their parents and i was like okay like i was already like 20 something so it's like what are you really gonna do so i kind of just as of right now i knew i had to just like hide everything everything that i do is in secret um and yeah it kind of just made me feel like this is like my barrier of like this is mine and no one can really tell me what i can and can't do this is mine like 
no one really understands the connection I have to this, if that makes sense. Because it's very, like, freeing and, like, there's really no boundaries. And I know, like, TikTok, Tumblr, YouTube, they have all these rules and stuff. And it's, honestly, if it makes you happy, who even cares what you do? Like, as long as you keep it to yourself and you're not hurting other people, it really doesn't matter to me. Because I do it for myself. So, it's not like I'm doing what your roommate was doing, so... <laughs> Wait, what was my roommate? Oh, not not oh. this roommate. Because I was like, he's just no, screaming. No, the other one. No, the other one. No, no, no. The other one you were my talking about. My roommate's just screaming playing oh. League or something. <laughs> oh, no. She... No, the thing with... Oh, my God. I'm going to get into it. But, like, she was... Some people do it for bad. Like, they use it for, like... Yeah. But I know, like, that's the stigma. Uh, What did Weiss do? No, it's not Weiss. It's my old roommate from, like, 10 years ago. Yeah. Well... So when you do your streams and stuff, like when you do tarot card reading, they still think you're playing games. Like, is this what they think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if they open the door and there's a spread of cards... No, they don't. They will never open it? They don't. No. You lock it. Like, um, (laughs) yes, but my door's broken. That's the thing. I just have to be careful. But I do tell... Well, I don't even tell them. They don't really bother me. See, that's the thing. I don't know if that's just like a middle child thing, but they don't... They don't really bother with me, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think because oh, they're an adult, like, they don't just that. open your door. That's so rude. To be like, hello. Yeah. Even though my mom does that. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> um, so, Jetty's asking, why is your name Soft Goddess? Oh, oh, because it's the name of my brand. Um, But it was funny because my brand name... That's so weird, because I think my name on my shop has always been Soft Goddess Craft. So I was like, okay, and then my personal or like my, say my Twitch Instagram used to be G Goddess. Um, And I got that name from, so this girl in high school, I was like, I was trying to make an Instagram and I was like, I don't know what this Instagram should be. And she was just like, oh, Goddess, why not? That's what you are. I was like, oh, nice. Okay. And I was like, okay. So I just ran with it and I was like, okay. (laughs) And she was a lot older than me, so I was like, okay, well, you give me confidence. Okay, so I did it, and I kind of just ran with it, and I kind of just, like, made that everything of me. So, Soft Goddess is, like, without the craft. Did that make sense? It kind of makes it open to everything. So, it doesn't really have a... Because craft is, like, okay, crafting, like, you know, jewelry, painting, stuff like that. But just without it, it's kind of open to anything, you know? It doesn't really have a oh, so you strictly do this, or you're strictly that. It's very open, if that makes sense. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. people, I, I've had some people be like, like, if I talk in chat, they're like, you're not nice. Why is your name soft? Like, soft. Whoa, like, what? what? No way. And I'm like, what? You're so mean. <laughs> you're mean, right? Wow. <laughs> but, eh, whatever. It's it's whatever people perceive. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, the thing with, like, I think it fits me pretty well. The thing with soft, I feel like you have a soft voice. That's just how I perceive it. And also your aesthetic is very, like, like your background. Like, you can just see it's, like, really, like, cute and stuff. <laughs> My background. <laughs> yeah, like, so, like, it's so soft. Like, it's the light baby pinks, the bears in the back. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That's To be honest, I did say this to you, but the stream doesn't know. We talked. Uh, I was saying how when I first saw your name, Soft Goddess, I literally thought you were, like, a super um like you wore dresses to your ankles you never showed your wrists like that kind of like really conservative like dress and then now i'm like when i met you i'm like wait you have your nails did you got the necklaces on you have like piercings like things that i just was like okay that's clearly the opposite of what i thought so i get that why people think it's like different but i don't think it's like a bad thing i don't know it's like who cares like it's just a name like it's yeah, not- and to be honest, I'm not really good with names, and I feel like G Goddess is like okay, like I have that on all of my stuff, and it's just like it got boring. So I was like, eh, let's make something cute. Mm-hmm. Um, so Sean is asking, your parents don't approve the tarot readings. What's the reason? Oh, um, Christianity. That's the reason. The sin. Christianity. <laughs> um, little Rose asked, "Do you have? Oh, oh, do you have those crystals? Like, uh, I have some that I'm gonna be showing you guys soon. Uh, yeah, we'll do the crystals. I have a after. few. Mm-hmm. Um, 
John's like, do you like pink? Well, probably. <laughs> um, I like pink and black. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they're your favorite combinations. Yeah, basically. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, um, I guess one question I want to ask, like, obviously, we don't have to get too deep into this. It's just like a curiosity thing. Is you do tarot and everything, and your family is Christian? Are you also Christian and you do tarot, or you're not Christian? Um, it's just your family is. I'm just there, if that makes sense. I don't know. I really don't like labels, mm-hmm. so I'm kind of just there. I'm very open-minded and very like open to anything, so I don't. I don't know. A lot of people ask me that, and I'm just kind of like, I'm just kind of here. You know, I'm not really, I don't like to be put in a box. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So you like, you, you just believe what you feel basically. Yeah, basically. I just like, okay. Like I will never tell somebody that what they believe in isn't real or not right, but I'm just going to be like, okay. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm just, I'm the type of person that just is like, okay. Like my opinion, if it's not needed, it's not, I don't need to say it. If that makes sense. Like. It's that it, that's your thing, you know. Don't. But I really don't like it when people throw stuff onto me and be like, "Why don't you believe that? Why don't you this?" And it's like, dude, I don't care. <laughs> like it's your. That's your life. That's your thing. Um, let me do my thing, you know. So unless we're not, as long as you're not hurting anybody or you know making people feel bad, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, wait. Is your friend Angel Guts? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, because you... Okay, because sometimes... Okay, because I remember you talking about her in your stream, and, and then I was laughing at the name because it was funny, because it's so, like... It's so opposite of what it is, and then... Okay, cool, okay, because I was calling you Angelica. <laughs> I can't <laughs> read, apparently. Okay, uh, hi, Goddess's friend. Um, okay, so <laughs> let's get into... Wait, so how long have you been reading tarot for? About, like, a year? Uh, yeah, about, like, a year, almost going into two years, but, yeah, a good year, probably. Um, I just gotta say now is probably when I felt very comfortable to do readings for, like, other people, and even, even doing readings for myself is kind of hard, because, you know, you can be so, um, biased to yourself. Um, like, you say you see something, and you're like, oh, god, I, okay, so we're just gonna try again, and we're gonna redo everything and see if it comes out better. Uh It's very biased, though. But that's, like, something that you learn to not be when you're doing readings on yourself. So. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, sorry, Angel. (laughs) Oh, my God. Um, Oh, um, okay. So, I want to ask you. So, for people who don't know much about tarot, um, I guess, I think most people do, but for people who don't really know much about tarot, like, what would you, if someone asked you, like, what what's tarot? Like, what would you describe it as? Um, I would just say, um, okay, how basic can I be? Is it, like, dumbfounded or, like, actually, like, they know a little bit or, like, Like, they don't know anything. Because I have a oh, lot okay, of people okay. in my community, well, like, this is, okay, this is my thing, where they come in and they're, like, the immediate thing they say is this is witchcraft this is oh. <laughs> are you tell me my future when will i die like things that are just like this will not tell you any of these things first of all yeah, um so what definitely. like cause how would you describe it to somebody who's like completely new to it okay so i would basically just say like okay well these cards will basically tell you the energy that's around you like um it won't tell you the future but it'll tell you what is the kind of like a synopsis about about what's around you um and maybe give you some advice give you some clarity um it really depends on like what you ask and what what you're trying to get out of it um because if you're just gonna be like when will i get money or when will i win the lottery when i like that stuff it's basically gonna tell you this is what you need to work on like it'll kind of work with the it's gonna work with what's around you it'll probably totally skip your question and just talk about what's around you Mm -hmm. um sometimes if i don't like it's not that i don't like the question it's just the question is very vague i won't understand anything that's going on like i'll like pull like three and be like okay can you be a bit more vague (laughs) can you stop being vague and tell me like more 
description like description i don't know if that makes sense like you have to be very descriptive of what you ask and what you want because say i answer it but it's not how you wanted it if that makes sense yeah um this is what i've noticed um at least from my end because i do readings too but like i will got i guys i will say goddesses readings are like you got it she's just like let's go um sometimes i'll read okay this is i don't know if it's on my end or if it's just i don't connect with the person but sometimes i feel like if the person is like we talked about it in terms of how closed off you are or if you're like really not believing things or you're just not opening yourself up then i feel like it's very difficult to read people that don't even open up yeah my issue is is when somebody is like say someone comes in my stream they're like okay i want a reading and they're very like like they want it now 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 and it like i do it for them and i just kind of feel really disconnected like i don't know it doesn't even matter if i like like the question or anything it just seems like they're not there very genuine i don't know if you can just tell but for some reason i can just kind of feel it um it's a very like intuitive way to like really feel why that person is there and they're there they're just there to hear it and then jump to somebody else and hear from them like and i've noticed that with a lot of like people who come in in the like tarot category is that they'll hear it they'll be like oh, okay and then they'll jump to another channel say the same thing jump to another oh, yeah, channel do I the see, same thing because there's only like and five streamers sometimes exactly <laughs> and it's like really really weird because I can feel that and I know what you're doing, but I'll do it for you. But if you don't like what I say, then okay. Like, yeah. And I've had some people be like, well, that doesn't resonate. I'm like, okay, well, sorry. Maybe you should be more open. I don't know. Or maybe you should be more descriptive or I don't know. It's not my fault. I'm just getting of what's going around you. I'm not charging you anything. I'm just here being at service. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, John, thank you. Thank you for my nails. They're, thank you for liking You want to show us your nails quickly, just a little closer? Oh, my God. No, they're, I have to get them done soon. But Really? They yeah. look really nice. <laughs> it's been a while, so I need to get She's them done. She's attacking you, right? Um, <laughs> oh, John's like, would you get into palm readings? Um, I have a book, actually, but I haven't even like opened it. So I, I think that'd be super cool. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I'd probably just do it for like my friends, obviously my family interested in that. Uh, Angel's like I love when she does readings for me. They really come for me, but honestly, it helps a lot. Uh, I think because you guys connect. Cause what I notice is that I feel like okay. So when I read Goddess and when she reads me, I feel like it's good because we're just open. Like we trust each other is the biggest part. Mm -hmm. But I also feel like. I don't know. It's just like certain people. I just, I, at least for me, it's just like we have a, there's a wall there for some reason. It's like no matter what I read, it's off. And I'm just kind of like, I don't know, because I'm not, you're not open at all. And it's very difficult. But it's not like I'm blaming the person. I'm just saying like, it's just not going to be as accurate if you don't trust the process, I think. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like that's even, because I know there's some tarot readers on, on Twitch that are like, they get it right either way like it doesn't matter what they're there for but that just comes with experience like that just shows that we're not as experienced and have, haven't been doing it as long and that's nothing wrong with that it's all a learning process i mean as, and like i said as long as you're doing it for a good thing and you're not there to come for people and like kind of peeve into their private life then oh, you're not doing yeah. anything wrong you know what i mean because some people get more info than other people so just because we don't get something it's just we need to practice more and we need to like be more intertwined with our tools like stuff like that you know so mm -hmm. uh trust and have good connection is always really good exactly okay um... oh wait i think john asked like is that different from card reading yeah definitely i would think palm reading is definitely different from card reading because you're actually looking at the lines on people's hands because some um well in my book that like each tip of your finger or even like a line is like kind of like planets mm -hmm. in the way of how like different signs of the planets work with your hands and stuff like that it's it's really weird i haven't even looked at the book don't come for me i don't know <laughs> yeah okay so, so my grandma actually reads palms i don't know if it's because like she's old traditional chinese like they're very very like they believe in uh, a lot of superstitions 
Mm-hmm. So, like, every New Year's Eve for, like, like, regular, like, uh, New Year's Eve for, like, North America and also for Chinese New Year, they'll be like, you have to wash your hair, you have to wash, change your clothes, everything, because it's like, if you don't clean everything, then you're going to bring in bad energy to the New Year. I've heard of that, yeah. Like, my mom literally calls me, like, at midnight, like, you better have done all this, like, I'm telling you, and I was like, yeah, mom, okay, cool. Um, but my grandma used to read my palm. And this is terrible because, like, I know it's, like, you can change your life. But, like, she always... So, you, what you do is you squeeze your palm together so the lines are more prominent. Wait, which hand? Left or um, right? I don't know. I don't know which one she read. <laughs> I don't remember. I'm not... She squeezed okay. my palm. I was literally, like, seven. And she's like, oh, no. Because my line went through my um, finger. And apparently when your line goes through your finger, it means you're, like, losing money. Like, in terms of, like, prosperity. Oh, what the heck? I don't have that. Yeah, your, yours are cut, right? So that means you're not losing. But mine's, mine's literally, both of them go straight through. And my grandma was what? like... What? Yeah, my grandma was literally like, oh no, your hand! You're gonna be poor! And I was like, grandma, stop! And I was seven. And I'm like... Oh my god. Yeah, and that's why I feel like sometimes I think it's like, no matter what your palm says or whatever, it's like, you need to take charge of your life. Like, it can't yeah, be definitely. just like... Oh my god. Yeah, and then I remember she said that. Fuck, Fuck you three. Okay. Um, any other questions? I think that's it, right? Okay, I think that's it. Um, so I kind of want to ask you, what's your... Okay, so what kind of... So when you read yourself, or like when you get readings done, what kind of cards usually pop up for you? And do you think they mean certain things if they keep popping up? Um... Well, I actually wanted to ask you something. Um, does a does a major arcana come out for you a lot? Oh, girl, I'm the queen of major arcana. I always get major arcana. Like, is there, like, a card, like, specifically that is you? Because when I do um, readings on myself, mm-hmm. I always get queen of cups all the time. Um, oh, okay. So Wait, when think, my yeah, friend... Too does readings for me i always get high priestess so i'm like okay mm-hmm. so basically your deck kind of revolves you around a certain type of card mm-hmm. and especially especially if it's like a major um so that's kind of like what you embody and what your deck thinks you are um so that's like if you get very connected to your deck that is what you will come out as so with my new one i still don't know yet but with my old one I kept either coming out as um, High Priestess and um, Queen of Cups is recently. So, honestly, that makes a lot of sense. Um, So, I wanted to ask if that happens to you. Um, I only have one deck, so I'm not sure about, like, the different decks in terms of what comes out. Okay, so when I first started reading Tarot, I kept getting the Fool card. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Which is really good for you, to be honest. I see that, totally. Yeah. <laughs> Not even in a bad way. It's a really good thing. You're very spontaneous, and you have a lot of good ideas. Oh my god, thank you. But uh, I stopped getting it, by the way. It was just, like, when I first started reading. I think it was, like, in the winter. Mm-hmm. And then now I'm getting a lot of, uh... Okay, I think the one card that is, like, the card for my deck, because I actually was shuffling one day, and I actually shuffled so hard that I bent the card in half, so it's actually creased... <laughs> And I tell you guys all the time, it's the tower card. And a lot has mm-hmm. happened from, like, since I got that tower card, my life has been tower card. Um, a lot. It's not a bad thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's bad, I but the thing like is... it's much needed, to be honest. I feel Everybody like it did need it, though. Change. Like a wake-up call. Mm-hmm. But, um... So, uh, other than the tower card, I usually get, like... I don't... Okay, I mix these two cards up, and it's terrible. But I, I either get justice card, or I get judgment card because i sometimes mix them Mm -hmm. up but i usually get like some of those so i'm just kind of like oh god like what does that what do you think this means god since you're like honestly i just feel like it's a lot of choices in your life that need to be made or like a lot of things that you don't think will go your way um it's kind of you kind of it's kind of giving you that hope that like just you know things will go your way it's just going to take time and knowing that the difficult decisions that you have to make If you make them, good will come. You know what I mean? Yeah. I never get High Priestess, I'm gonna tell you that. (laughs) No intuition. (laughs) Oh, God, yeah. But, um... 
Yeah, I think that's good. There's a card I never, like, have you ever, like, so you have your deck, right? So I have mine here. Mm -hmm. Have you never, have you ever, like, never pulled a card from your deck? But you know it's there, but you never pull it? Like, I never pull certain cards. I'm like, oh my god, I didn't even know this card existed until I pulled it. Um. There's just so many cards I never pull. Oh, I don't know. Let me see. I'm trying to find one that I never pull. Um, like, for myself, I guess. It's going to be funny, but um, before, I used to never get the tower card ever. Uh-huh. Until, like, this year, I started getting it a lot. And whenever I see it, I'd be like, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? And I'm just like... <laughs> um. No, I think I've gotten, like... Not gotten, like, for myself. Well, actually, yeah. Probably all for myself. Maybe I... I've seen all of them whenever I do reading sometimes, so. What about you? Tell me. I want to um, know. <laughs> oh, I guess, like, for people who don't know, because um, I have a lot of viewers who don't know anything about tarot. Do you want to describe, like, for what tower card means and, like, what your cards mean? So High Priestess basically means, like, a goddess has really good intuition and she should keep following it. Am mm -hmm. I right? <laughs> Tell me yeah. if I'm wrong. No, you're good. Yeah. Uh, and then Tower card is about change, but the change is, like, something... Pretty Drastic. big, yeah. And it comes like People your towers like, oh my god, crashing. it's so it's, yeah. They always like, oh, it's so like scary, this and that. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, I mean, it's a change that you don't want to happen, and you don't really see it coming. Mm -hmm. Um, and also it depends around it because it could be other people's change that are, is going to affect you too. So it all matters of the placement and like what you're talking about. Mm hmm. Uh, Slicer's like, what's your favorite rapper? <laughs> I don't have one. <laughs> I thought Slicer would know out of everyone here. <laughs> I know, right? I'm just kidding. Um, I don't, I don't have one. I have trouble having favorites on things. I like a lot of. Mm hmm. I don't know. I'm looking at my cards. To be honest, I'm still kind of like iffy in terms of like when I get page cards and I get pet. Like, page cards, to me, like, I don't know. Like, I mix them all up, so I can't really tell if it's... Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so page cards, I can't even tell. But I never get the Four of Wands, which I know is about celebration, because I guess there's never anything to celebrate. So that's... <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> oh, my God. I pulled this one... Okay, this is... I pulled a Devil card one time, and I never knew mm -hmm. what it was, because I never pulled it. I pulled it once in, like, months. And it, apparently, it's one of the more indulgent cards. It's about, like, addictions. Mm -hmm. Which is good that I didn't. And when it. it's when it's reversed, it you're kind of you're like, oh, it's what is it called? It's like not taking accountable for what you're doing. So it's kind of like you don't know that you're doing it. Mm -hmm. So it's like a mask. But when it's upright, it's like, yeah, you know what that person or you that you're doing. Yeah. It's like kind of intentional. I also never get the ten of wands. What does this mean? Um, ten of. Because I'm I, I, right so now. pretty, but um, I never pull this. Not even for my viewers. Enough one. Ignore my hands, guys. I try to take my nails. Oh my god. Not and me not knowing. Um, see, I hate the description. I hate the um your art on the card because it makes right, me blank. No it exactly how it, it really makes you think. Because the other ones that I have, at least it has like a picture, and I'm kind of like thinking, okay, okay, okay. But I'm like, I know. Oh. Okay, so I looked it up right now. Ten of Wands talks about burden, extra responsibility, hard work. Oh, it's the one where the person's carrying all the wands. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I was just about to say. Because I just got that like image of like my old thing and I was like, oh. No, because this I, I used card to makes get it that. look so I used pretty. To get like it's a all... celebration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I used to get that all the time. All the time when it came to my work. Mm -hmm. All the time. I was just like, unnecessary burden. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, is it, it's good that I never get it cuz I got it I think once. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. And I never get the world card. What does this mean? So the world card is like um it depends on what placement it's in, but upright it's like an unfinished lesson and something you still need to learn. When it's reversed, it's closing of a cycle. You've learned everything you need to do and um you're ready for a new beginning. Okay. Interesting. So what cards do you never pull? Um well, it depends on the period of my life I'm going through, but the ones I don't ever get is Devil Card. Mm 
I'm sometimes. Guessing. Yeah, I never get um, that. We both never get Thank God, right? <laughs> no. Three of Swords, I never get that. Um, oh, that's good. That's a heartbreak. Yeah, I've noticed I don't ever get that. I'm just like, do I do I just cope well? Or does it just fly past me? Like, okay. Um. Oh, I never get the Six of Wands either. All the Celebration cards is never... <laughs> <laughs> Um, I mean, it's not like I don't get them. It's just like I don't see them often. <laughs> yeah, like they don't come in frequently. Yeah, I think, um, you know, there's some that I actually do have a lot of trouble with. It's like kind of like the kings sometimes, like the king of pentacles and the king of cups. And like, especially when they're paired up with like the queens too, because I'm like, same thing, but it's like less intensity, I guess. Mm -hmm. but then it's weird when it's upside down i'm just like wait it's another meaning but it's different because it's more feminine or more uh -huh. masculine if that makes sense um so would you say you probably more queens? king of pentacles oh oh um definitely yeah i pull definitely more queens Ooh, i found your card the priestess <laughs> <laughs> I, the I will i think i pull more king energy usually i don't really yeah. pull like queens interesting okay um so jetty's asking what's your favorite tarot card and why oh this is a good question oh that's a good one um my favorite oh actually i'm gonna l actually look through mine yeah i'm looking through mine because i don't remember and it'll pop out to you when you know it's different with my new one because this makes me have new favorites so oh man is it the one with the girls on it yeah. Oh my god, so pretty. I think... See, I don't want to just say that it's my favorite because <laughs> my decks think I'm it, but I really do like the Queen of Cups. Um, oh, yeah. Only nice. because it... I don't know, it kind of made she ate my feeling because Queen of Cups is, like, very um, emotional. They, um very they kind of she doesn't make her feelings feel like a bad thing like she embraces her emotions and um i could say the bad thing is that she kind of runs on her emotions a bit uh -huh. um but she's very brave about how she feels and she doesn't really make people sway how she feels and stuff like that so i really love, even though kind of biased but okay another uh -huh. card that i do get a lot is the queen of swords a lot so oh. Queen of Swords is like totally different from like Queen of Cups because it's like emotional based. So the Queen of Swords is like cutthroat, brave, doesn't really let people push her around, uh -huh. um, will kind of off when she needs to, um, but is doing it for a good reason. So I guess you can say those are like my two favorite cards. But if it didn't, didn't have to be a major, um, if it had to be... A minor, a minor card that I like a lot. I don't know all the minors. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I forget sometimes, so that's why I had to I had to go in and look. I noticed that um, I never pull sevens. Seven's not my number, apparently. Really? What does sevens mean? Um, I'm looking at them. I never pull these. Sevens is kind of like. Honestly, it really depends on the um on the element that it's in so like swords wands cups you know what i no, mean no i never pull any of those okay so like last week was the first time i pulled a seven of cups or whatever mm -hmm. and that was like i've never not even for my viewers i never pull them and apparently it means like you have a lot of choices and you don't know which choice to make because you have a lot of oh yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah okay you know what i actually do like the seven of cups though because the seven of cups is like overwhelming amount of opportunities mm -hmm. but you don't make a decision i get that all Do you the pull time it? I, I pull it okay, all the so time you're, and okay. it, <laughs> so it makes it's really funny how last week you were telling me like oh you have a lot going on like you could do this you could do that and it's like yeah that's the issue i have too much going on and i feel like i could never catch a break if that makes sense mm -hmm. <laughs> and i feel like that's like the biggest description of that card it's like you kind of can't catch a break because you have so many opportunities in front of you um okay cool 
Um, I think... Yeah, because I didn't know any of that until like I pulled it for John or something. <laughs> for John um, <laughs> last week or something about options. I think my favorite in terms of like... Not like I pull these cards. I feel like the tower card is such a love-hate for me. Like I, I just... Like I like it, but it's also kind of like... Don't do me like that kind of vibe. So here, this is my tower card that I've bent. And I always... You can see the, <laughs> the crease in the middle. Mm-hmm. Um, but a card I really I, okay. The tower card is kind of like definitely love hate. I think yeah. I like. I don't know. Oh my god, this is so fun. It's weird because I never pull temperance. I pull it sometimes, but I'm a Libra. Isn't it about balance? Oh, temperance. Yeah, yeah. it's a balance. Yeah, card. I never. Yeah, it's about being more balanced and kind of um, finding clarity in what you're already doing and not just being stable in what you're doing right now. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna sound so greedy and terrible, but I love the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> it's the money card. It's about like abundance and like your good. yeah. It's about having like your hard work pay off. You know what I mean? And that's not a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I like- gonna lie. I like Ace of Pentacles, so it doesn't matter. Or Ace of any Aces. Oh, you like? I new like beginnings. because that's a, that's like a new beginning. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Something new is coming to fruition. I really yeah. like that one. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I like all the cards though. It's just the. Uh, some of it's just like more resonating with me. Definitely yeah. the the ten of pentacles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I actually like the tower card because when I see it, I'm like, ooh, what's going on? What's gonna happen? I really want to know what's gonna happen. I don't know. I kind of get that like. Yeah, I think that's why it's <laughs> the a love adrenaline hate. of like, ooh, what's gonna happen? <laughs> yeah, that's why for me it's like I like it because I know I'm like. You know about my sink. Like, I've been complaining about it for literally weeks. But mm-hmm. uh, I feel like that was also Tower Card. <laughs> um, what's your least favorite? If we haven't already talked about that. Oh, no, we didn't. Um, wait, John's like, you get the money card upside down, though. Okay, John, listen. <laughs> it doesn't mean I get the card. Oh, my God. I just like this card. I, I never get it. I do get it sometimes, but very rare. Um, oh, my God. Okay, one card I will say. I, okay, so speaking of least favorites... I never pulled this for myself, but I pulled it for like one viewer a lot, and he's definitely going through some stuff. The Ten of Swords definitely don't lie. This one mm-hmm. is literally like one of I don't want to say it's the worst card in the deck, but it's a card that like really is like the rock bottom card. It's kind of like you've been through it, but yeah. when you think about it, like the only way to go is up, right? Yeah. So with after ten- you're like solo. Yeah, like you're <laughs> literally at the bottom. But the thing is, I think it's like you're close to a new beginning at this point. Like, after this, it's probably, like, a death card or something. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't hate it, though, but I don't know. Something about this card, it's so it's so intense. Like, even in this, like, how they drew it, they make you feel like you've been through some stuff. Like, there's a heart in the <laughs> middle that's broken. How about you? I want to see, like, what's your, like... Maybe not um, least favorite, but, like, one card that's, like, when you get it, you're like, holy crap. <laughs> um, There is one... I'm going to try and find it right now, but if I can't, then... Oh well, there is one that I'm just like I hate getting it because I hate not knowing things. Okay. So let me see if I can find it. Oh no! Please don't take too long. Um. Oh, and for people who don't know, the Ten of Swords is basically about like it could be about heartbreak, betrayal, feeling backstabbed, victim mentality, like, literally everything. So this is what it means. Mm-hmm. So the card that I kind of hate getting because it's, it's I'm not saying it's bad, up or down, but yeah. it's the moon card. I don't oh, like yeah. getting the moon card because yeah. this is something you don't know, and um, when it's upright, it's like yeah, it's something you don't know, like, yeah. and it's like you really probably won't hurt your feelings, but if it's upside down, it's like definitely something intense, and it's like it's a big it's in deal, your and you care. Yeah, and like you know that somebody is lying to you and you know something's going on and you're just like, but you don't know. That's the thing. I don't like not knowing things. So it's so it really, really bugs me. Yeah, so yeah. that's the card I gotta say. I, I really hate getting it and, I, and I'm and i getting it a lot recently. Oh, so you I'm have? like, ah, like, it bothers me so much. Yeah, so <laughs> I have to say that's the one I really don't like getting and especially i feel weird when people get it too because i'm now i'm like ooh, i want to be detective for you like i don't know like yeah 
And I feel like, okay, so I haven't never pulled a moon card for myself, but I pulled it for people. And I think the biggest thing is like looking into your dreams. Because a lot of your dreams can tell you messages that you might not even know. Yeah. So, yeah, I think I get it. Like the moon card is so unclear. It's literally saying like, you'll never know. <laughs> it's not that you'll never know, but it's something that will come with time and if you talk to that specific person that's why you kind of ask for like clarity cards like okay sometimes what i've been trying to do now is like if i don't understand something my next question for my cards will be what do you mean by that or what do you mean by this card you know what i mean and it'll like probably shoot you some coins and being like okay here's a little bit of advice or here's a little bit of clarity of what this could mean mm -hmm. but you kind of have to see how your life will play out now knowing that there's something there if that makes sense kind of weird kind of eerie but it's, <laughs> it's like mysterious for sure oh van's so sweet <laughs> oh van's so nice oh my gosh i love you <laughs> um so john's asking do you do anything to prepare yourself to read cards like burning incense or getting mm -hmm. crystals out okay so i actually had to do this because multiple streams I don't know if I was just like reading too many people or I was getting weird stuff thrown at me or I don't know but I kept feeling like I was dying every single stream like after every single stream like I would just like put my head down and like like I would like have like tears coming down my face and just being like why do I feel this way mm. why do I why do I feel sad like I'm not even like, why do I feel these things like this is so weird and I talked to my friend about it, and she was like, dude, like, you're literally absorbing, uh, absorbing other people's energy. And I'm like, ew, like, I hate how this feels. Like, I had to just, like, walk around and move around, take a shower, and just be like, I hate this. Like, I don't like how this feels. So I actually had to go and buy a few pieces. Um, I actually have a necklace, but it's actually at my boyfriend's house. It's like an obsidian, and I, ha I like, I try to remember to wear it when I stream. Um, but I did buy this. It's like a black Ooh. tourmaline, but it's like a raw one. So it has like oh. white stuff on it. Oh, like they cut it um, out. Yeah. So, and it has like, like, it's like not soft or anything. Like it will like kind of scratch you if you're not careful. Um, so black tourmaline is like the biggest protection thing, like grounding. Like it will, well, my intention for this was you're going to help me when I stream. Okay. Like keep things away from me. Like keep it. If I'm talking to somebody take their energy but as soon as i'm done throw it back like i don't want it um another thing that i keep around me that like is totally an essential like monk i think i need to send you one because girl i need it all. <laughs> <laughs> so it's selenite so i have the selenite tower um i have two it's a I tower too have... yeah so i have a stick one it's on my near my bed and then i have another one that's near like all my chibi moon stuff and then i have a bowl so I like I just got this bowl so when you buy new crystals you put it inside the selenite bowl and it'll like kind of cleanse it and have it by like the sun and stuff. This one I keep by my computer. So I already put the you're gonna help me when I stream, okay? That's it. Mm -hmm. And then so what those does it are do the again? kind of like so that one kind of like it's like the biggest cleansing crystal you could get, if that makes sense. Okay. So that crystal is perfect for cleansing things especially like cleansing a space mm -hmm. so i mean there's other ones that i keep around me all the time and there's actually some that i do actually carry with me but um i didn't know if you want to jump into that um but those are the ones that help me bring me so you put those two right by your side yeah yeah they're like by my monitor behind my laptop <clears throat> um hi kissable how are you what got you into tarot cards well, you kind of are explained, um, I guess, if you want to summarize in, like, a shorter way. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, so, basically, how I got, like, what got me into it was basically friends. Um, and basically my own, my own kind of draw to things that I don't know about, like, and nobody would ever talk about and kind of make it a bad thing. Um, so, I kind <laughs> of like that it's taboo it's like when your know, mom kinda... hated it you loved it more <laughs> yeah basically like i was just like it, it kind of gave me that drive to be like oh well i'm gonna do it anyway like it's not i'm not hurting anybody i'm not summoning any demons yeah, yeah, yeah. like i'm not doing anything bad you know so 
I do it because I like it because of my friends. So, yeah. <laughs> and then your mom would be like, bad influences. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Like, she was so, uh, whatever. I mean, I was already of a big age, so it's just kind of like, you kind of can't really tell me what to do. Like, I know I do live here, but it it won't hurt you if you don't know. It's not like illegal <laughs> or sense. anything. Not like you're, like, exactly. doing coke in the back. That's uh, what I'm saying. Like, I could be doing worse things in my life, yeah. to be honest. <laughs> yeah, you you could be doing worse, girl. Um, how long have we known each other? I oh my god, how long have we known each? I feel like it's not been long, but I feel like I've known you forever. Um, uh, it's been like four months, five months. I think it's gonna be five months next month. I'm not sure. I think to be honest. January like or February was when we met. Mm -hmm. Definitely the new year. It wasn't last year. Yeah, definitely. Oh my god! Wow. Crazy. <laughs> but I feel like Crazy. I'm so comfortable. Okay, I will say this. I feel like I'm just comfortable with goddess. Like, we just get along. And I like that because... I Okay, objectively speaking, I don't have a lot of streamer friends. Like, I'm being honest, guys. Like, I don't have a lot of people where I can just be like, hey, what's up, you know? And I'm glad that I, mean, I can talk to goddess and, like, we can just be honest. I'll be like, hey, your mic is, like, is that your mic? And she was like, that's not my mic. <laughs> like, we were, like, <laughs> testing the stream, like, a few days ago. And I'm like, you sound like you're in a box. And she's like, oh, my God, I'm not using my Razer mic. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, let me turn it on first. And you're like, oh my god, that sounds so much better. It I was, was like, so yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. On uh, Ouija board? Is that part? No. I think that's so different, though. It's very different. It really depends on what you're comfortable with. But that stuff, I'm just like, I'm not. I'm, okay. I'm cool. Yeah. That. When I was 12, I was really big on scary movies. Like, we would watch a scary movie every Friday at my friend's house after school. And. It was a lot of ones where it's like paranormal activity stuff and then we were like should we buy a ouija board and i was just like no i'm not dealing with this like if i open up a portal and some i can't close it i'm not i'm not dealing with it you know what i mean like i don't want this in my life yeah i'm like yeah those that's, that's the other things are not no <laughs> yeah let's, and, okay i will say that one thing i did want to talk about in terms of tarot is like the miscon misconception of tarot because everyone thinks of these things they always think of the negative part of it which half of it is not even part of it but yeah. um, I don't know. I just feel like people need to be open-minded and not think that just because we have some cards and crystals that this is how we live our life and like we can't think for ourselves. Yeah. And that's the probably the biggest thing when you're just starting is that you're like so heavily reliant on them. Like you're like, oh my God, I don't know something. I'm going to ask something. Oh my yeah, God, if yeah. I don't know. Like it's so reliant. Like, be, be, believe me. When I first started, I was asking about every little thing. And I'm just like, okay. And my friend kind of had to tell me, like, okay, dude, you need to chill out. Like, just chill out. Like, just let, just live your life. I'm like, okay. Like, and it's hard because especially if you have, like, a very panic mind and, like, you kind of question everything, um, it's really hard to delegate things without a sense of security. And I've had, like, so many people who don't even know me that I've gotten, like, readings from that are just like, you need to chill out. Like, chill out. Oh, Seriously. Calling you out, girl. So, yeah, and I'm just over here, like, vibrating. Like, I want to know everything. Like, everything that's going on. And I don't ever want to be surprised about anything. But they're just like, chill out. Like, just live your life. <laughs> yeah, like, don't be but so dependent on it, I guess. Yeah, exactly. And that, I think that's the thing that people become very reliant. Like, that's why in my get the same questions literally the next day and i'm just like dude this for you yesterday the answer is not going to change and if it did then I, I don't know what to tell you like it's just like just take the information and then go about your life like i don't know i just because i used to be like that and it would just make the thing that i wanted take longer if that makes sense because say you something into your life and you're constantly constantly asking about it you're just delaying it basically yeah so don't like because for me what i do is i do a daily tarot i'll do one or two cards but it's not because mm -hmm. i have a question it's just because i'm practicing first of all just to like yeah. get used to the cards but the number one thing okay so i have a new like a new rule not even i don't know like i've it, i've always been kind of like this but I noticed that if people are really dependent on the cards, if they're like, give me a reading right now, or, oh my god, I'm so mad at my friend, can you just tell me what they're thinking? Like, all these things. I just, 
one time I read somebody, I don't remember who they were. I don't think they ever came back. They were like super like angry at their friend or something. And they're like, I just want to know what he's thinking. And I'm just like, I don't feel comfortable reading for him because he's not here. And I don't feel right doing that. Also, you seem really dependent on the card. So I did a reading for her and it was really off. Like it was just kind of like, I was looking at the cards. And I'm just like, what the hell? Like it didn't make any sense to me. Like I couldn't even tell her what it meant. Right. Yeah. So then. And then uh, I just thought about it. I'm just like, I don't think I'm ever going to read anybody when they're like in that stage of life because I don't think it's healthy. And I don't mm-hmm. think you should even like do a reading right now because you're just so dependent on it, you know? Yeah, excuse me. And mm-hmm. usually the card readings are like, I don't know. I never want to like ruin someone's life or anything. So that's why I'm like, I don't read you if you're like desperate for a reading because it just... Exactly, you know. yeah. And honestly, like if I ever feel off, I'm always just like... Bro, calm down. <laughs> yeah, like, they're like too, their energy is affecting the reading too. It's like so intense. Yeah, because then because especially when I I don't like it when you're giving somebody a reading and they're just like, but this and and but that and but blah, blah, and I'm just like, dude, just let me give you the reading and just be quiet. Like wait, <laughs> like just wait, okay? Because mm-hmm. then there's people that are like, just wait, just wait, like just uh, duh, duh, and I'm like, what do you mean just wait? Like let me say the reading and then we could talk about it after, like. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't, it's like, I didn't know you got readings like that. It seems like you're usually pretty good with these things. It, it just depends on the person, to be honest. Because if they come in, like, high energy, they want to know things, like, right, right now. And it's like, first yeah, of all, that. wait. Uh-huh. So, there is a line. <laughs> like, I've had people who are, like, they don't even know anything. They just come in, like, join. I want this. I want that. And I'm all like, well, you can join the line if you want. So. Yeah. There are people that just come in and, like, shout at you, like, demands and stuff. And you're like, no, that's not how it works here. Sorry. I mean, there are people that do that. And they are totally acceptive of it. But if there's people waiting, girl, you gotta wait. Yeah. And, like, especially for me, like, I take a really long time with my readings. So I'll just be like, Mm -hmm. yeah, you're number four, but come back in an hour. (laughs) 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 Goodbye, girl. (laughs) yeah (laughs) um tarot dependence is dangerous gonna end up acting positively exactly and that's why i don't read people who are like give me a reading like you know when you slam your cup and it's full like it's empty from the alcohol (laughs) i'm not refilling your cup with alcohol buddy like i'm not like i can't and i've had viewers where they're like they're like i really want a reading and i'm just i'm so sorry like you're just not at a good spot right now like i don't want this for you and even if you did get a reading just you know don't even listen to it because you're just gonna act impulsively exactly give me a reading now yeah (laughs) and they're not gonna be like and especially if they're not happy with it like i've had people come in they're like okay okay and then they don't like the reading at all and i'm just like well maybe you need to fix something i don't know (laughs) like you know and especially if it's like telling them to do something they're like well i don't think so i'm like okay well that sucks like yeah like i'm okay with like if it doesn't resonate, but I don't think I've ever had anyone be like rude to me where they're like, well, it's wrong. And I'd be like, okay. Like, they're usually, okay, thank you for like, you know, reading. That's shocking. I can't believe people say things like that to you. Yeah. And also, I've like seen it in other people's chats too. And I'm just like, that's rude. Like, oh, wow. they're literally doing something for free for you and like using their abilities to help you. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I hate it when it's free and they're like, well, it's wrong. They're always so mean, you know? <laughs> <laughs> always the first one to be rude then. Like, I don't really remember oh anyone being mm-hmm. actually rude. I think I only had one time where someone came into my stream and they were like, join, join, all these things. And I was like, I don't remember what happened. I was like, they're like, can you read me? And I'm like, yeah, there's a line. And then I think they left after. But like that was like the <laughs> only... I don't even know who they were. I don't know. That's interesting though. Yeah, I feel like... Because, like, we talked about it, like, the tarot community is so small on Twitch that they're just kind of, like, they're, like, hurry up because there's not much people to read. Yeah, they're just, like, grasping for anybody, you know what I mean? Grasping for straws. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Kissable's asking if you believe in astrology. I know you definitely do. Yeah, I think it's really fun. I mean, I don't like it when people are kind of like, oh, you're this, mm it just depends you know like if you say you are like i don't know it's just weird when people put it into a very like real life type stuff being like oh if you're a cancer don't talk to me and it's just like 
-hmm. Are you being serious or are you just playing around? Because I've heard like a lot of people say stuff about Gemini's and stuff, and like it's like, ugh, we're not all the same. Like some people give us really bad reps, but it's okay. Wait, but uh, even if like. Like, if you want to talk oh, about like, like, what it two -faced, means. Oh, like, two-faced, like, kind shit. of are fake and stuff like that. So, like, with Libra, since you're a Libra, oh, Libras God. are, like, very, very selfish. They kind of do things for their, for themselves. <laughs> um, they kind of do cool for social, like, climbing. Um, but those are, like, the bad things, you know what I mean? But it doesn't, like, really shine the good things, like. Libras, they're really good with talking to people. They're very eccentric. They're very social, um, very charismatic. Um, Gemini's, they're, um, they migrate to other people's energy. So say they go from one group, they're this and this, and then they go to a different group. They, they kind of have to mute, like it's because they're a mutable sign. So they kind of have to mute, like mutate to another type of, um, mm -hmm. emotion, like to fit the atmosphere. They kind of like are fixing with. <laughs> if that makes sense. They're kind of like going through the motions of making people feel comfortable. So they're putting people at first, basically. And they oh, tolerate yeah. a lot. So even that's why when people are like, oh, you're two phases, like, no, I'm kind of just going with what people are oh, saying. Oh, like you're and adapting to them. Yeah, you're adapting to the environment of people. So it's different. And that takes a lot of work. Oh, God, girl. So <laughs> I think when you say uh, Libras are selfish, and to be honest, Oh my god, we were watching uh, Aphrodite do the whole, like, thing one day, and he was like, come on, Libra, we know you're manipulating people, just say it, and I was like, I mean, I, I probably, I, I will honestly say I am a little bit manipulative, but not because I try to be, like, I'm not trying to be like, yeah. here's my book of evil, I'm just mm -hmm. like, sometimes I just, you know, I think it comes with the charismatic part of it. You know? Yeah, and even with, like, Geminis, they say they're very flirty and stuff, mm -hmm. but that's not it. it. It's just that we're very nice and we kind of try... I feel like Gemini, they try to be very people-pleasing in a way mm -hmm. to just... But for themselves, like, you know, they don't ever want to be something that they're not, but they but they want the people t around them to feel, feel happy in a way. I don't know, that's just me. I, see, there's some Geminis that are just, like they you know that they're talking shit and it's just like they do it just because they want to and because they know they can get away with it and they have kind of like a face that will get away with it and oh. that's like kind of the bad attributes to it because when i was growing up it was very easy for me to do that and that's something i kind of had to calm down on and just be like okay just because someone told me something doesn't mean i have to go to the next person and tell them like it's like that's, oh, like, that's like a thing, thing to like make convers <laughs> like to make conversation. That is something I used to do a lot when I was younger, and it kind of like I'd probably just be like, I know something, and I tell somebody, and then I'd kind of like watch it like explode. If that makes sense, it's uh, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, are you are you admitting so, to gossiping? Is this what you're saying? Definitely, I feel like everyone in their life has, and even if you haven't, then you're oh, lying. Sure. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. and, and and honestly, especially if like you have a group of friends who don't like that person too, it's kind of like inevitable. Is it okay? Is it okay? <laughs> this is a little off track, but is it bad to bond over like not liking somebody? <laughs> have you ever bonded through that? Um. Um. I think when I was younger, yes. I think now it's kind of like, I kind of feel like everyone kind of has a redeeming trait about themselves. But if they kind of do something that's kind of like no, then no but i think now in my age you know i kind of don't like that kind of stuff because you're not really bonding on something that's you guys you know that makes you guys connected yeah. it's just about being mean to somebody else and i think it all comes with like growing up and stuff that really hating on people is not it doesn't do anything like it's just like okay like it doesn't help you. Which favorite color then, you know? Like, yeah. it doesn't do anything for yourself. So it, you're kind of... I don't know. I kind of feel like it's just... Like, just let it die already. I, I, I don't know. If that's just about growing up it's like and high kind school. of getting over things. Even like yeah, definitely. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was honestly in middle school, I was like that. And then I think the moment I entered high school, I was like... Because you could choose your own courses. You didn't have to just do the whatever they told you. Definitely. So mm -hmm. I was like... I have a, I have aspirations now, guys. 
now move on from this bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> I remember it was so crazy because I remember I was with friends. Well, no, we're not friends anymore, but I was with this one girl who was like a bully, like full on like mean girls, like intense. Mm-hmm. And then um, we went to high school and I was just like, OK, well, I'm over this. Like I'm we're in high school, fresh start. Let's focus on our dreams. You know, like I'm not trying to like bully nobody anymore. And then she was like still doing it and i'm just like dude girl get a life like we're have like class now like we can yeah do, we mm-hmm. can do anything we want like what do you mean we're gonna like, be stuck in middle school mindset and then she was still doing it i was just kind of like yeah i'm not your friend anymore <laughs> gotta go <laughs> yeah definitely yeah no i had people like that too and it's they only do that because they feel like they can still manipulate you in a way because it's about like having a grasp on somebody especially people who are like that that just talk down about people it's like a it's a power dynamic type thing it gets old and it's kind of like if you're yeah exactly and if you're not continually to do the same thing as them they're kind of like ill what's wrong with you and it's like that's not it though yeah <laughs> um so i always say this but i know like when i say it i don't mean like every person who has this sign but for me, like, I've dealt with a lot of, like, Scorpios who are, like, intense. And also, <laughs> and I will say this, also Aries. Aries and Scorpio, I don't know. If I'm just a Libra. It just doesn't work. But the thing is, the craziest thing is that one of my best friends is a Scorpio. So it's not like I'm, I would not be friends with a Scorpio. I'm not like that. I don't care. I don't even know their mm-hmm. sign until, like, I like they talk to them. Like, when's your birthday or whatever. But, um... Yeah. I don't know. I guess there are certain traits where, like, you do see a pattern in personalities in terms of like how people are um yeah i don't know so what's your favorite sign if you had to be asked that's not gemini because it's yours um well see the signs are different when it comes to um who that person is say if it's like uh, it all matters with like gender and stuff um if anything because usually a girl virgo is different than a guy virgo it's totally different um oh, but it? if i had to say yeah it's definitely different because like john john's a virgo so he's totally um not to call you out i'm sorry i'm just giving you the traits <laughs> john's it's always totally example. different it's totally it, he's, well, the he's the only he one know. i know the sign <laughs> so he's the only one that actually know that is a guy virgo because guy virgos are totally different than like women virgos so um so guy virgos are like they kind of try to make you feel stupid a little bit without trying they th- without being like without trying you know what i mean it's because it's just how they talk they talk they try to talk very intelligently and they kind of try and act like they know everything um but it's not i mean it's not a bad thing i mean but the thing is you don't know that you're doing it you're just talking like talking normal you know so and i don't know it's just that they want to be smart all the time like and, no one else yeah kind of and then with like and see that's the thing see with girls it's different because um you could either be very messy or very like super clean detail oriented you want everything in aligned that's kind of like the virgo type thing is that you're very aligned very analytic you want things done a certain way so if i have to say if there is a sign that i really like i have to say i really like virgos okay um um the other ones um oh uh, angel is saying she's like i feel that scorpios i attract them but i'm like i have a scorpio rising what does that mean so rising is like um it's your appearance like kind of like how you look so this like so your sun sign is like your face and then your rising is like your appearance like what kind of energy do you give off and then your moon is like your feeling how you portray your feelings so if it yeah it's like a whole thing you can look on youtube they like explain everything um so with me i try fire signs so mostly the fire signs that i attract are leos and aries so because i actually just found out that my son my son in gemini is in the fire degree so i have a really oh i'm sorry i have a really intense sun sign if that makes sense it's like it's a lot of going into detail and watching a lot of videos on how to like look at degrees and stuff for astrology 
because it can really tell you about yourself and how you kind of use your emotions and because I always wondered why I'm like kind of eccentric I don't know if I'm very like energetic and like my boyfriend is always like you want to act like a fire sign so bad but you have no fire in your chart and I'm like Whoa, and I actually, looked, I actually, I actually looked at my chart. I have no fire at all. I have a lot of air and water. I have like about five percent fire. But I actually just realized that I have a twenty-two degrees. So that's like I said, it's a fire degree. So I'm a, like a fire Gemini in a way. So I don't act a lot like other Gemini's. So I don't know. It's weird. It's it's honestly kind of enlightening because the video that I watched, I was like, wow that's so me <laughs> like i'm yeah. so like energetic and i can get really mad really fast and i can kind of explode really fast and i'm like huh that makes sense why i don't act like a lot of other gemini's if that makes sense it's weird <laughs> yeah but to answer your question the the you know the sign that i like the most is virgos or gemini basically <laughs> okay um okay what's your least favorite sign but it doesn't mean you dislike the sign it's not that I could dislike them. The th ones that I... I feel like the one I clash the most with are Libras and Aquarius. <laughs> okay, I see. So this. that's why I was kind of... I was very surprised that I um, really bonded with you a lot because my whole team at work are Libras. Mm -hmm. And I do not like them. Like, the, it's not that I don't like them. It's just that they kind of cast me aside. So they make me feel unwelcomed. So, and that's like the biggest thing that I don't like because, uh, you know, Gemini's like to talk and I love to talk to people and I like to socialize with everybody. So I'm kind of like, dude, why would you put it? And then you guys make a big deal about talking to each other because Libras, they like to talk, they like to socialize, they like to feel very charismatic, like they know what mm -hmm. stuff. Um, Aquariuses? It really depends because I feel like they like to feel different. They like to feel like they're important. And they like to feel like no one is like me. I'm so different. I'm so this. Yeah, I don't know. Wait, I'm not like it, the other girls? Yes. No, it's <laughs> like that. Definitely like that. And to be honest, and just to be like kind of quite my mom's an Aquarius. Oh okay. my god! <laughs> so I'm just like... I mean, some okay. So, I will say this, guys. That's how I feel about no offense, Louis, Scorpios, and Aries. Is because once you have like a firsthand impression of like one bad experience, you kind of be a little tainted. But I don't think it should generalize everybody, obviously, because you had mm -hmm. one bad experience. But yeah, I I get that. Um, <laughs> yeah, we all have our signs. I'm sure like, the thing is, I never thought about Gemini, so I never. Like, I, I wouldn't say you were my least favorite sign. I would probably say uh, Scorpio for sure, and also Aries. Aries is a new one because of my old assistant manager. And I remember one time, she was talking to a customer. And this was like, she was... The customer was, not gonna lie, like, very annoying too. I'm sorry, let's just look again. And then she, <laughs> my, my assistant manager, which is... She's actually, like, terrible. She was like are you an Aries? Because I feel that. And she's like, yeah, I'm in Aries. And they were bonding. And I was like, oh, God. Like, this is... Now I have Ew, another one on my list. Yeah, it's like another thing <laughs> to, like, to hate. <laughs> so, <laughs> that happened. Um, but, so, Louis wants to know about Scorpios. Anything you could tell us about Scorpios that I should probably... Oh, um, actually, um, Angelic can tell you about... <laughs> Is she a Scorpio? I don't mean to call you out, but hey, let them know, cause uh, I on I personally don't know. Um, my younger sister is a Scorpio, but she's very very quiet. She's um Scorpio rising Virgo and then Moon Virgo, so she's a double Virgo. So she's just like resting bitch face, doesn't really say much, um, but feels everything. Mm -hmm. So I uh, I don't know. She's kind of like my boyfriend, but quiet and keeps everything to herself doesn't never really voice anything uh -huh. so, <laughs> um but i wanted to say that um with the aquarius thing it's funny because i have one aquarius um co-worker and i kid you not she tries to act like she's my mom and oh, i just weird. i cannot stand her like i'm just like i have a mom at home 
please leave me alone. <laughs> and she's so rude and mean to me, so I'm just like, hello? Oh, God. Okay, so <laughs> for you, it would be Aquarius, just like you're Scorpio. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of just like, okay. Okay, not like all the other girls, okay. <laughs> um. Oh, my God, so there's a lot going on. Okay, so apparently Louis is a Scorpio. His birthday is November 3rd. And he dated okay. a Scorpio because the same, like, I think they were born on the same day or something. I don't remember. Okay. And he said he literally got stabbed. What? <laughs> like, oh, like, my God. Like, physically stabbed, like, a scar. Okay, that's, I don't know if that's a Scorpio thing or just, like, that's who it's she. It's because they're very emotional. And I feel like um, once you cross a Scorpio, it's like they will try everything to get back at you. Even if it wasn't intentional or even if it wasn't in that way, if they feel wrong, they're, they're going to come after you and in a way that it, they will make you feel the pain that like that literally. you did to them. That you did to them. Like, like It's like super payback feeling based. It's totally feeling based. And it's very manipulation and like... They want to have control over you in a way. There's a very control, very manipulated sign in a way. I'm not saying that they're all manipulative, but it's it's very secretive. Like if Scorpios, they look like they just look like the mysterious type, um, if that makes sense. Like they you kind of don't understand them because there's so much going on. <clears throat> oh, my God. I don't know if you want to read what he he's writing. <gasps> oh, it was because of like, she wanted me to. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, that's a restraining order. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Oh I, my god. Yeah. Um, I will say that the Scorpios I know and knew, they're very, like, vengeful. And you're exactly right in terms of, like, something would happen and then it's, like, been it's been a while, right? And then there'll be, like, that one time you did that and they never get over it. Like, grudge holders. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. That's just the people I know. And I'm just kind of like, girl... It's been three months. Let's move on. <laughs> and yeah, mm -hmm. like very vengeful. Yeah, like, and I guess Angel has literally dated all her exes, or Scorpios apparently. Yeah, mm -hmm. from cuddle to cut. I mean, yikes! Oh my god, very single. <laughs> That's really scary. Oh my god. Yeah, the like thing that. is, I'm not saying this is okay, but Louis is in like the army, so he he knows how to like deal with it at least now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he can defend himself to a point. Okay, well yeah, that, at least that's good. Insane. Yeah. Um. How about I want to know about Aries? What are like they're fire signs for sure. I can see. Yeah. That. Well, um, Slicer is one. Um, definitely. Um, I don't want to air that out, but like he is all fire. Mm -hmm. that makes sense rising moon sun like everything is feeling based so basically fire signs are like very passion and um ambition based so like literally anything will set them off like say like driving or like you say something a little weird or oh i don't know God. it's it's very emotion based like they feel everything that's why sometimes if i say something and he like takes it the wrong way it's like a whole it's mm -hmm. like it <laughs> it's like whoa i didn't mean it like that and he's like ah and i'm like whoa like okay like it's it's like feeling everything to a high intensity but if you don't have those placements like basically aries ba it's a baby like you're the first sign in the zodiac you're baby you, you kind of are like very optimistic to everything. Mm -hmm. um, I want to say it's very um, adventure-wise. Like, a lot of adventure, um, ambitious. You kind of want to be, like, the first one to do things, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. So you kind of want to be the founder of things. Um, oh, and also, um, a card that comes out a lot for Aries is Emperor cards. So that's cool, too. Oh, that's so. cool. <laughs> Like yeah, whenever I do a reading um, for my boyfriend, he always gets the Emperor, so I'm all like, okay, so that's your card, I guess. <laughs> you know, it'd be fun if we talk about all the signs, since you know all of them. Um, so we talked about um, um, Virgo. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Monk, what's your experience with Virgo? I don't, I don't know any Virgos. That's why I didn't have an opinion ab about them. <laughs> um, my best friend is a Capricorn, though. Me too. 
So what's Capricorn? I don't, she's the sweetest girl ever. So I'm assuming good things. Oh yeah, mine too. Like the so, sweetest. I mean, we've been yeah. through like some stuff, but like that doesn't mean like all is lost, you know? But um, my two best friends, one's a Virgo and one's a Capricorn. But if you want to do Capricorn first, um, very work oriented. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Driven, you know, like they care about money a lot and they care about making a stand for themselves and doing things for themselves. Um, I think the only like negative aspects I could see about them is that they only care about that stuff like they they kind of are very work based so say if i uh, see i don't know what's the difference between girls or guys uh -huh. um but because i mean i don't really have any guy friends the only guy capricorn i know hates me so i don't know about anything about that so oh my god wait <laughs> so you're right sorry to interrupt you but no, i just ahead. realized my sister's a capricorn i didn't even know her birthday's <laughs> in january i googled it right now i was like when's when's that you're you're literally right because my sister and my best friend are like the type to just focus on their job. They'd be like, "We're gonna mm -hmm. go to school. We're gonna not procrastinate. We're gonna go like do the do." And they're very like mm -hmm. driven. They're very like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go to work. I'm gonna go get my degree. And I'm gonna go to like definitely." Work. Mm -hmm. And I was always very yeah. shocked because I was my my parents always compared me to my sister. Be like, "Look, she's like so advanced, and you're not." And I'm like, "She's a Capricorn. I get it now." oh my god no that's so oh my god okay but that's a good trait that means they're really driven like they're just mm -hmm. ready to go yeah it would just it's just bad when you try to like date somebody and they're like try to make it work oriented like they try to make things i don't know work i don't know that's weird um or it's kind of like a power dynamic in a way because capcorn has a lot of things going for them and if they have someone who's not yeah doing that they're kind of just like hello oh like oh my god you... my sister she literally like <laughs> no. everyone she's ever been with has been like inadequate for her in terms of career like she's always been the breadwinner she's always like teaching the the guy be like listen like you gotta step it up um which i guess could be a bad thing because then you're not as like you're so goal-oriented in terms of your job that you don't focus on your relationship mm -hmm. it kind of starts being the back like on the sidelines like dating mm -hmm. people yeah definitely wait angel is capricorn right mm, uh yes okay so i guess example number one <laughs> <laughs> yeah high standards yeah because um every capricorn i know is very i don't want to say this okay angel i'm not trying to call you out but like from what i've seen like they're very oriented in terms of their job but when it comes to their love life it's not like the best i don't want to say that though but that's what i've seen it's been kind of like because they prioritize their work so much i feel like with them i feel like they always just try to see if things will go well later like down the line uh-huh um because even the same with like tauruses Tauruses are really like work oriented too and they are very stubborn with it and um they don't want to change so if they are very comfortable in something they will not change like they will see and wait till it's literally disintegrated and it doesn't like work late, anymore essentially mm -hmm. so yeah that that's like a Taurus and cap but it's like an earth sign type thing if i gotta say i'm a i'm an earth <laughs> sign right Libra? No, you're an air sign. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not hardworking. Am I the right one? Oh my god. I feel attacked. Oh my god, Mio, because no one's paying them for a successful love life like a career. I mean, when in doubt, you have your job, I guess. Oh my god. I, I'm not, I don't know anything about um, astrology, I'm not gonna lie. It's like very vague for me. Hi, Yummy. Hi. Hey. <laughs> okay. Um, does anyone in chat I'll talk, want to talk about their sign? How many signs are there? 12? <laughs> I think so. I don't even know. Me not even knowing, but knows them. Oh, yeah. Um, the guest. <laughs> oh, he likes your nails. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um... <laughs> Oh, I think it's ten. Wait, I'm gonna look up how many how many astrology <laughs> signs. Um, how many astrology signs? There's twelve. Okay, so one for each month essentially. Okay. Okay, so I, I kind of want to know Cancer. My mom is my mom's birthday is coming up too. Guilt trip. 
<laughs> oh god yeah living through her child i mean <laughs> I <love> my mom. <laughs> oh my god yeah definitely my brother is a cancer but he's kind of like an overcooked gemini a little bit because we're um in we were born in the same month and i feel like he could have been a gemini but no he's a cancer but overcooked so um cancers is like very emotional they're very very intuitive um and I just feel like they feel so much. And since Cancer is like the moon and the moon goes through so many phases, that's why people think that Cancers are so moody and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's because the moon goes through a lot of signs. So of course you're going to be kind of moody in a way. Like you're going through all the cycles and your moods change so much. So it bases off your emotions. So I went... But the the re the really bad thing about it is that you could push your insecurities onto others, and you can really push your problems onto other people, and that's like kind of like the biggest thing that people don't like about cancer is that they're always crying about something, and they don't really want to hear what other people have to say to fix the situation. Like if you give if them that advice, sense. they'll be like, no. Or they'll be like, I hear you. Anyways, so this is what I'm sad about again for the like for <laughs> since the last month, um, and I'm still sad. So yeah, <laughs> you know. So, um, for rising signs, you have to look it up, right? Like it's not that easy. Like it's not just like you know. Oh yeah, you just have to look up your where you were born and what time. Yeah, John, you can look it up. It, it's kind of complicated. Your birth chart. Yeah, exactly. Um. Oh, you follow? Nice, thanks, Yummy. Yeah, uh, Goddess has a lot of socials. <laughs> um, oh my god, okay, so I was watching this one video one time, and this girl I follow, she does astrological chart stuff too. And it was basically <laughs> about, I forgot what it was called, but it's basically like you, you add up your name or your birthday or something, and you get this number, and then it tells you like on the chart where you are. And it said mm -hmm. that I'm a Sag Sag is it Sagittarius or Sagittarius? Oh, it's Sagittarius. Sagittarius, yeah. So it says I'm a Sagittarius <laughs> in the moon or whatever. I don't remember what it was. Mm -hmm. And it was really, oh, your moon is Sagittarius. I think oh. it was moon. I I, oh. I think my sun is still Libra. I well, yeah, it doesn't change. Yeah. I mean, it just you get you get three. Yes. So it's like called your big three, basically. Yeah, I think. Sag I want to know what your moon sign is. No, because it did my birthdays and stuff. I think it was Sag. But the thing is, she Wait. said that was meant to like the craziest part, which I don't know. That's probably why I'm getting away from just gaming streams. They were like, mm. oh, you're meant to help people in this life. And I was like, oh, what if I get better at intuition stuff, right? Mm -hmm. I um, want to know your moon sign. What's your moon sign again? It's in Pisces. Oh. What's Pisces, the fish? Yeah. I don't know anything It's like about very sensitive and... um yeah <laughs> so i'm very sensitive when it comes to my feelings yeah and i feel like and I, it's like very closed off a bit um because there's so much mm -hmm. like keep it inside and plus with my virgo rising i feel like i'm very i try to be very construct constructive criticism with my own emotions which is not a good thing because it'll kind of tell me like what's important and what's not mm -hmm. so which is not good, but <laughs> oh. but it's like something you you kind of get through. And having like um, my sun sign, it kind of makes it a little bit easier because I can kind of like switch personalities a bit mm -hmm. and kind of put that away and be something else for a little bit. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> it's like a little bit of goping, but it's good. Well, emotions kind of make sense with those Queen of Cups you've been getting, right? Right? That's what I was yeah, saying too. I was like, it's a water oh my god. sign, the water in the cup. Oh my god. <laughs> um Okay, so I guess I think Jetty said Taurus. Anything I know Taurus is the bull and it's like can it be I think stubborn, right? Maybe yeah, very know. stubborn. But they have a lot of goals. Um it's just um I think the thing is with them is actually finishing the goal. If that makes sense. Like, you can have a really big goal you're starting and you're kind of just like, why is it taking so long? Okay, you know what? I'm done. Like, give up. Eh. Yeah. Um, true. Okay, confirmation. Uh, did your eyebrow mm -hmm. piercing hurt? Um, if I had to give you one to five, it would be like a three. Oh, okay. Not bad. Nice. If 
I'm double Scorpio, no one can tell me anything. I'm more Scorpio than anyone. <laughs> That's scary, <laughs> Louis. The radiating, the energy you radiate. Uh, you hate Taurus. It's so annoying. Oh my God, Slice are not holding back. It's because they're, it's because it's, they're stubborn. That's why. But we hate. Well, we don't hate them. There are some that are okay. Um, Aries girls. <laughs> oh my God. Aries girls is like. Ari anyone that's an Aries girl and a Scorpio girl, don't talk to me, please. <laughs> 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 because I still remember one day I was at work, I did something small, and my man assistant manager at the time was Aries, and she got so mad at me, and I was like, are you good, girl? Like, relax. Are you good? Like, I see oh the fire God. coming out of you, though. <laughs> 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 right? Oh, my God. I'm hated. Oh my god, no. Okay, we don't hate anything, okay? We're just... Yeah, no, it, it's just the person and how they, like, vibe off of us. <laughs> There's no space in this world to stay away from me. When I, <laughs> if I ever visit Goddess, I'll be like, okay, Slicer, you stand there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Aries girls. Okay, I never met an Aries guy, but I will say Aries girls, you will, they will, you will know they yeah. are Aries girls. Okay, you will know. Yeah. <laughs> They'll make sure. <laughs> They'll tell everyone. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Oh um, yeah, we talked about most of the signs. Right? Anything <sighs> we're missing? I don't remember many of the signs. Okay, wait. My dad. Let me look up my dad. Um. Well, there's um, Aries, Leo, Gemini, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, oh my god, my dad is an Aquarius. Pisces. What'd you say about Aquarius again? It's your mom, right? Oh, yeah. They want to be the... I'm not like everybody else. Oh, my God. I'm different. My dad is literally like that because <laughs> he, sh he tried to tell everybody that he can swim really well, but he can't. <laughs> what? <laughs> He'll be like, yeah, when I was your age, I could do like 10 laps back and forth. And I'm just like, dad, it's fine. But he's like the It's okay. Guy. No one's like... It's okay, no one's testing you. Oh my God. <laughs> no, but it's like, a, I don't know if it's a guy thing or something, but he was very like, oh. he just wants people to know that he's fearless. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hey, Waffles. Okay, wait. I'm trying to see if we missed anything. Um. Okay, so we, oh, I we didn't talk about Leos. I think Leos are so cute, but I don't know anything oh. else. Leos, it depends. Um, <clears throat> so Leos are like, tell me about myself. I love me so much. If it's about me, I want to hear it. Like, they're very, they want things to be about them. Um, I think that's like a good and bad thing. Um, <clears throat> um, mm -hmm. Oh, man. I mean, I've only dated one Leo, but it was very at service for others but uh, a negative thing is that they want people they just want people to think they're right all the time and they kind of want to strew a narrative that is that makes them come out good if that makes sense um even if it's not hurting anybody it's just like okay it, i don't know it's all about pride that's why the strength card is kind of based off leo a little bit because of like lions and stuff like that what month is leo again let me check that Leo is um, July, I think. Oh, so like after Cancer. Mhm. Mm is Gemini first and then Cancer? Well, what? Because <laughs> I know um, May is Gemini. Oh. May okay. June is Gemini, and then at the end it's Cancer. Okay, so it's Cancer. And after. then in July, and then it's. Oh, Leo is Leo. July twenty third. Yeah. Yeah, if that makes sense. I totally forget. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god okay okay um uh oh yeah libras we we kind of talked about libras i guess we can just talk quickly about them again oh well, monks of libra so go off queen girl i don't even know all i know is apparently <laughs> manipulative <laughs> oh my god i've got balance scales like this has to be oh balanced my god. I don't know, actually. I just know balance, manipulation, we talk a lot. Clearly. Very <laughs> Social people, yeah. Um, I think I think that's about it, right? Yeah. Like so. Yeah. Oh, did you miss Capricorns? Oh, no, we talked about it. If you want to know more, um, 
Angelic is a Capricorn too, Van. Yeah. <laughs> we learned that Capricorns are very like hard working. Like they will focus on the career. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they won't stop. <laughs> Unlike <laughs> Taurus will they stop. They work too much. They need a they need a rest. Yeah, they're hard worker, workaholic. <laughs> Um, no, I meant you can talk about um, Capricorns, not Libras. Wait, cancer prone to developing cancer? No, that's oh so, my god. I don't think that's... No. I hope not. That's terrible. <laughs> no. Okay, let me look up all the signs. The, uh... <laughs> the Aries. Okay, so all the signs. Uh, Je- okay, so Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo. Okay, let me keep going. Mm-hmm. Um, interesting. Um, we have. Sc- they said Scorpius. Okay. Oh my uh, god. Oh, okay. Sagittarius. We, we didn't do Sag. Sa- um, Sagittarius. See, I don't really know much. All I know is that they flirt a lot. They're very like promiscuous, if that makes sense. I feel like they're promiscuous without even trying. I don't know if that's mean. I thought you said <laughs> Gemini's were like that, though. Well, I feel like they... Well, they're, they're opposites. They're opposites. Um, So they kind of do the same thing, but with different manner. So with um, Sagittarius, it's more like they do things for them and they don't like to be tied down to anything. The mm-hmm. so same with Gemini. They're very free for all. Like They're just kind of like do things for themselves. Mm-hmm. Um. But I uh, see. I don't really know a lot about Sagittarius's. I don't know, to be honest. Yeah, I might actually look it up. Cause after Sag, it's just I think we talked about it once. But uh, Pisces, Aquarius, which you definitely talked about. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, I kind of like Sagittarius. I don't know why. I think cause I got it in a reading. <laughs> but I feel like they. Okay, I will say that the fact that I haven't heard anything about them means they're probably pretty pretty chill you know <laughs> it's one of those good things where it's like hey i didn't hear about you that might be a good thing um interesting oh my god what website am i on it's so weird it doesn't let me go back yeah that's interesting okay so sagittarius um the person is optimistic lovers of freedom hilarious fair-minded honest intellectual people Spontaneous as well, usually with friends. Um, maybe tie with Gemini. Oh, apparently they might get along with you. Their weaknesses are inability to fulfill promises, <laughs> lack of patience, mm-hmm. lack of tact. They like independence, journey, philosophy, outdoor activities. They don't like uh, detailed things, tenacious identities. These folks are very nosy, overly energetic, and have an inquiring minds. So they, th- I think they use their brain a lot. Like they use their head, and getting sword yeah. energies. Okay, okay. Well, they don't bother me, so I'm fine with it. <laughs> 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 Wait, don't run into any Aries girls in your life. Wait, I thought you were such an Aries. I guess no Aries girls, but Aries boys is fine. They're different. They're definitely different. Mm-hmm. I've never met. No, never mind. What am I saying? My manager. Okay. Okay, so Slicer went to get food. My wife left me because my <laughs> constant zodiac puns is finally touring us apart. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Oh Jenny. my god. Oh my god. <laughs> touring us apart. Taurus us apart. Okay. Okay, um, okay, so we talked about the signs. Uh, we talked about tarot. I think it's time for the crystals. I'm so excited. Okay. All right. Let me let me get my little notes out. Yeah. So, <laughs> guys, so what's going to go on now okay. is Goddess is going to show us her crystal collection, and she's also going to tell us about each one, which is mm, very so interesting. So, I'm actually only going to show the ones that I use on a daily basis. I have any, to be honest. I mean, I do wear some, but I'm just going to be showing the ones that I do use a lot. Um, so, like I already showed you guys, um, so this one... Oh, my God. I feel like makeup tutorial. Um, so... <laughs> This one is like the black, what is it? Black tourmaline. So this one's really good for protection and grounding. Um, I would just say if you're looking on Etsy for stuff, just make sure you like look at the sources and reviews. But if you can actually go into like a crystal shop and like kind of feel around like what, you know, and like touch it, I guess, 
that's like probably the best that you can do so you can kind of like connect with it a little bit i know it sounds weird but no i like, like going it's in definitely a it's definitely a feeling type thing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then the other one like i showed you selenite selenite's cool this one was actually wrapped seller up because it like i guess it's easier prone to cracking but this one is like a cleansing stone it's good for cleansing crystals around it um it's really nice one to have um so i'm gonna actually show you guys the first crystal i ever got it's not this one but it's the type it's called um celestite crystal it's blue and i got um it looks like this and i put it in monks um discord chat as well it looks like this I don't know if you guys can see it so well, but this one is like good for calming, uplifting energy, balancing energy, worrying. Like it like calms your worrying and like anxiety for like healing. Yeah, it's like good for like they say it's good for like angel work, but I don't really do any of that kind of stuff. I kind of I don't know. I kind of like bonded with it a little bit. Um, I have one that's like a necklace. I don't know where it's at, but it was like my first ever crystal and it was this one. But now I can't find it, so I had to get like a bigger version of it. Um, my next one mm -hmm. that I actually really like, it's called Angel Aura Quartz. Ew. And I'm kind of new to this kind of stuff. So this one is like an inner peace and like calming energy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like really, really cute. I don't know if you guys oh, can see Oh, I can that. see the little pink specks. <gasps> can you make... <gasps> yeah, it's like, oh, it's like it's shiny. Nice. It's like... It's like... Yeah, this one's like pretty cute, I have to say. Um, uh. I really like this one. I like having this one by my bed. <laughs> um, and then another one that kind of ties with it. This one was the one I actually fell in love with the most because my favorite crystal is um, Rose Quartz, which is like self-love, like having more love i don't know just the love frequency going around you more um because i felt like i really needed to work on that so there's actually a crystal that's like like rose aura quartz and it's for like having more empathy like forgiveness lowering stress like clearing out anger and more self-love and it's like kind of the shape as a heart i have like a i, I know you can't really see that it's pink you but i have a bigger version oh here let me see if i can get like my sphere one so oh, this one so pretty i, I have this one too i have this I one the and then i have some that are like shaped as a heart that that one's like i have to say it's like my favorite favorite out of all of them um there is another one that um i just found recently and i have to say if you're having a lot of problems with like work or like the people or the environment around you i would say definitely get this one it's called um what is it called i have in my notes or oh, oh tourmaline quartz so this one's like a really good like shielding stone so it's like a return to sender thing i don't know if you guys have ever heard of that stuff but it's kind of like if someone is always sending you like negative energy or like talking about you a lot this is kind of like it repels it back to them so this is like really good for grounding shielding and um return to sender work like i just said so i don't know if you guys can see i'm gonna see if i can like what are those black lines help. exactly so that's what i was gonna try and say it looks like an egg yeah. and it looks gray and it has like these black lines through it what's the black so, line i think it's like the um the black tourmaline because you know how this kind of has like oh like little sh oh my god it's cute mm -hmm. yeah so and it's a quartz so quartz is like see-through so there is clear quartz sh um smoky quartz that you have mm -hmm. angel quartz rose quartz like it's all a clear um it's like a clear crystal but with the um tourmaline it's like jagged it's like a jagged um lines so that's all i was like huh I really like this one, and I'm not gonna lie. I've been I I used to carry this around with me at work, and it like I literally stopped hearing what people were saying about me, and I kind of put the intention of like, okay, like please, like just protect me from work. Like I don't want to be sad anymore at work, and yeah. I just want to be able to work. And I would like literally hold it in my hand and just be like, ah, like oh my gosh. So yeah, ah, uh, I really really like this one. Um. I have never heard about it or like seen it at all, um, but I'm really happy that I got introduced to this one. And if you're ever having a hard time with like grounding yourself or like people around you, I would say that the 
black tourmaline and maybe even if you can get a tourmaline quartz i think that would really help with you too so oh. yeah those are the ones i keep with me a lot like they're always around me like i always have black tourmaline literally everywhere so oh and the one on my necklace is um rose quartz as well Angel actually got me this one, so. <laughs> yeah, I complimented so, your necklace yeah. today. I was like, this is so pretty. <laughs> it gives me Sailor Moon vibes, too, in the middle. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so we had a few was questions. Was there any questions? Uh, yeah, I'm scrolling. Sorry, I know I'm going, like, by so fast, so. <laughs> um, okay, so Jetty's asking, how do you know if they're real or not? Just the feeling you get from them? Yeah, because, I mean, I've gotten a crystal before where it just, like, you can kind of, like, bang it and it feels like plastic. Oh. Or, like, you kind of you can kind of just, like, feel it in your hand. You're kind of just, like, anyways. Like, it's you, not heavy, I, I, right? I feel like you can tell. Yeah, no, it literally feels like nothing. Mm -hmm. Like, you can, like, with these, like, you can really feel that it feels like something, you know? And, and there's some where if you have, like, a really intense connection with it, it'll feel like it's hot in your hand. Like... Like, I've, like, meditated with, um, let me see which one. I've meditated with, um, the aura quartz and then the angel aura quartz, and it literally feels like it's heating up in your hands sometimes. So, uh -huh. that's just, like, growing a connection with it. Um, so, Mio said, is the quartz the same as, wait, is, is the, wait, is it the same quartz that keeps track of time? Uh, what? Like, I don't know. It's like like the watch. I don't know. The quartz Wait, watches. What? Wait, I don't know. What? Yo, I'm confused. <laughs> he also said nice nails. Okay. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um. So John's like, has your crystals ever cracked from bad energies? That's pretty. Interesting. Oh wow! Thanks for asking that because I actually have an example right here. Oh my here. god! So I'm so sad. Well, I also have another one. Um. So I have this like black tourmaline on my phone. And actually, me and Angel, um, we had ours crack, so that means it needs to be changed. Like, it did what it had to do. So, I actually had this Malachite that I really, really liked. And Malachite is, like, trying to bring new things into your life. Mm -hmm. And it was, it's was it been in my cleansing bowl for so long, and I used to carry with it a lot. But I felt bad because I felt like a lot of negative things were happening at work. So, I said, you know what? You're going to stay home. And so, then it's been in my bowl, and I picked up my little bag and it was literally like cracked like what can i see if you see that uh, like oh is it in half and then yeah like oh it literally like broke more. oh because i was like where's the crack okay it broke in half okay oh so i was like I, I was actually really sad i was like i really liked you are you serious so i looked i mean i know that when they crack it means it's done its purpose for you and it kind of mm -hmm. it's it's done its thing for you like it do what it had to do it brought a new beginning for you or it took somebody out of your life or you found something out that you need to know so now you kind of have to give it back to the earth so now what i have to do is bury this and just say thank you for doing what you did for me thank you for protecting me and thank Wait, you so, so you have I to bury that. it like in a certain way i mean you can i mean if anything i would just say like give it back to the earth because it is minerals from so the rock, earth yeah. so i would just say like if you have like go to a park and just be like put it into the grass or something like that right now i think i'm just gonna put a little hole and put it in there just be like there you go like you know now you're back at your original state there you go you know <laughs> i don't know something like that i don't disrespectful and just throw it in the trash you know so um so angel says you can also check on glass and a mirror to see if it'll scratch and it won't break itself yeah definitely mm -hmm. like scratch the mirror um you can kind of see like yeah, see if it'll cra like scratch and it won't break itself. Yeah, because it's like some are heat resistant, so like if you put any pressure, it'll like stuff will start coming off or like it'll start like cracking. Okay. Because crystals don't do that. Uh, give it to someone so they get the bad energy. Okay, I'm giving some to John. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> um, so what I was wondering is, you know how you have the really smooth ones that are like really, <laughs> how do they do? They just polish it. They don't put a glaze. Yeah, they're it, tumbled right? basically. Okay, because I thought they glazed it or something. I was like, oh, no, they're just, like, tumbled away. Excuse me. Yeah, I have some that are, like, geodes, kind of. So this is kind of like that, where it has, like, a soft bottom. Mm -hmm. Like, it's soft. And then the top part is, like, the main thing. You know what so I like mean? So, like, half. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, like, in half. Yeah, it's interesting. 
You know what? My dad used to have. I think okay. My dad is Buddhist, so he's kind of like into things. I don't know. My family's like, they're very spiritual as well. So mm-hmm. if I had to be like, I feel like it wouldn't be that weird to do tarot. You know, I don't tell my mom because she also thinks it's bad. Anyways, so my dad has these balls, like two balls, and it, you like I don't know if you go to those Asian stores, you like rotate the balls on your head. <laughs> And it's supposed to help you live longer or something. I don't even know, but it's a rock. What? It kind of oh looks like that ball you have. I don't know. And it's heavy. I don't know, but my dad has it in his room. I used to, like, play with them, and I would drop them on the ground, and he'd be like, oh, my God, stop. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't even know. I don't... If you're Chinese, I don't know how to say it. I don't know. But a lot of it is kind of similar. Like, we do believe in these things, too. Like, we have a jade in our culture, and jade is supposed mm-hmm. to protect you, too. So if you see people wearing jade on their neck, it's literally protection stone mm-hmm. to protect you from, like, bad things. Like, my grandma wore one for her whole life, and she died at, like, almost 100. So maybe oh she God. was very... Pro- yeah, she's, she died at, like, 100 or something. And she was wearing the jade bracelet. <laughs> oh, my God. Um... Yeah, it was. Do you have any more, or you just have those? Main, main um, ones? for like those are what I have like right right now. Um, it, I just have a lot of the same ones. I just pick some that I'm like really comfortable with. Um, the other ones I'm just like, I don't know. I mean, yeah, no, the other ones are just kind of like there. I don't really use them too much. Um, but I just wanted to show the ones that I, I use a lot. And that I'm, like, very knowledgeable about. Mm-hmm. Can I see your cleansing bowl thing? Like the thing Oh, there? yeah, yeah, yeah. I have some stuff in there right now. But... So, it looks like this. Let me just take what's in here out. This is actually new. I actually really like it. Oh, okay. What kind of... And then, it's selenite. Okay, okay. I don't know. The sun is so in the way. Sorry. So, you can, like, go like this. And there's, like, inside. So and you can, like, put stuff inside. I like how the sun peeks through it. Like, you can see it's translucent. Right. Oh, Yeah, I really like this bowl. I've always wanted one of these. Actually, let me put what was in here back. Oh my god, that's so cute. Yeah, I need to send you one. Oh my god, stop. (laughs) Oh my god, you have so many nice things. Oh my god. Um, Yeah, because... I was thinking maybe okay because okay this is nothing compared to goddesses collection i always have the same two little pebbles oh my god but i have a onyx black uh, what is mm-hmm. it black oh onyx. Blo- oh yeah the black onyx mm-hmm. yeah so black onyx and it's already cracked so it's been is it normal is it cracked because i did something or was it might have i'm pretty sure been. it was already given to you like that yeah some of them have a lot of like crevices and stuff like that yeah not your fault Oh, I have a question. Is it better to mm-hmm. make the rock smooth or make it like jaggedy? Like leave it like it is? Because I don't know. Does Honestly, it make it it's whatever your pre- preferences is. I mm-hmm. know a lot of people are like, oh, get the raw ones because da da da. It's like, honestly, it's whatever your preference is. Mm-hmm. Whatever you want, it doesn't matter. It, it mm-hmm. honestly doesn't mean anything. It's whatever your preference is. Uh. You're giving it bad energy. I mean, I will say that these rocks have been through hell and back, so yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and hey, they haven't, like, combusted, so they're good. <laughs> yeah. They really like you then. I mean, I had a crazy roommate. <laughs> the bull's cute, right? It is. You will know when it's an energy that cracked it. Oh, God. That's intense. So you're saying that you brought that rock, sorry, the crystal to, to work and it cracked in half. Like, this is what happened. That's crazy. I feel like because of all the times I took it to work. I mean, I even had like this, um, I forgot what it was called. I had this like crystal ring before and it was like black and I wore it on my thumb and I used to wear it all the time at work and it literally like exploded. Like, I I mean, like it like, I didn't expect for it to, for it to break at work, but I wasn't surprised and I was just like, uh. Okay, I need to buy anyone then. <laughs> like the ring on your finger, it literally cracked. Yeah. Jeez, where do you yeah. work? Girl? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you worked in a place because I used to work in a really toxic environment too, where it was literally like you couldn't even look in their direction without feeling terrible. So I was like, oh god. Oh my god. No, it was so awkward. I was like, hi. <laughs> Just go to my <laughs> my little cubby in the back. 
No concrete. No, is it is concrete a rock? No, I think it's a. I don't know, Chad. That doesn't seem like it is. My ring exploded at work. I was like, what the hell? And I just started this job. I was like, what? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> On your first day? Damn. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know much about crystals either, guys. I have this one rock that my friend gave me. I think it's literally a rock, though. I think it's fake, because it's one of these ones that says, like, words on it. It says faith, but it's backwards. Um, oh, my god! But I think it's, like, like a souvenir, you know? Like, it's from a mm -hmm. store. But I don't know if it's plastic. It's kind of heavy. Do you think they just glazed it? I don't know, to be honest. I don't know. I mean, it looks fine, to be honest. Yeah, it's those things where it's, like, a souvenir and stuff. But he gave it to me, so I kept it, because he's my friend. And I just mm -hmm. added to my collection now. <laughs> my three gray rocks. <laughs> so I need something a little cleansing, I think. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hi, Aries. I have other rocks I found in the mountains. Oh, do you ever find rocks outside in nature and you take it home? I used to do that at the beach if I found something pretty. Um, I found one and it was just a shape as a heart. That's it. That's the only one I have. Oh, can I see? Oh my god, do you want to see it? Oh my god. I want to see all of it. <laughs> Let me see if I can get it. I don't have it with me. Okay, let me see. It's like not a crystal or anything like that. It's just like a normal rock that you find on the ground, I guess. I mean, that's um, fine. But let me show you. It looks like this. <gasps> but it's a heart Aww. Like it literally looks like a heart That's cute. yeah I really like it. I've had it for a really long time I don't even remember when I even got it that's cute though yeah there's rocks that okay here there's not many rocks that are that big I think like our rocks are really small I used to find rocks mm -hmm. on the ground all the time when I went to the beach and for some reason they always looked really pretty in the sun and then when I brought them home they were like dull and I just threw them out <laughs> like, they just glistened in the water um mm -hmm. oh okay so apparently angel's kind of like still working there too i feel like you guys have similar situation right with the work dynamic yeah she just started um, their job so yeah. it is kind of like ugly right now but i feel like things would get better things will get better um i have cool rocks but i want crystals too but i don't want to buy them are crystals expensive like if you buy it depends them. on where you go because some places i'm like ooh, that's kind of expensive but then i mean i don't know it just it matters where they're sourced to be honest Mm Hmm. because i think i'm like you if i did buy crystals i prefer to physically go to the store mm -hmm. because i see a lot of crystal stores online not only are they really expensive but i'm kind of like I don't feel I don't know like someone just I don't know how to describe it I just feel like I'd be better just going myself because you know what I used to love as a child it was like the biggest thing in the 90s was mood rings where you put I it, love mood rings yeah mm -hmm. and it would change depending on how warm you were and stuff and I was like I, I love that stuff mm -hmm. I love that stuff I took that stuff so seriously oh my god <laughs> right no, but the thing is, I feel like stones and rocks and all these things were really big back in the day. They're coming back, though. But in the 90s, yeah. it was, like, huge. I remember I went to this, uh... I went on vacation, and we went to this uh, Yellowstone Park, or I forgot what it was. And the whole souvenir section was full of, like, you could buy, like, quartz and stuff. Amethyst. Oh, the wow. purple one, I think. Oh, my God, I was, like, so into it. And my mom was like, we can't buy these things. And I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> but I got the mood ring. I got one mood ring. Oh, nice. <laughs> they can be expensive and cheap. Like, you see the entire price range at gem slash minerals shows. Oh, are there, like, conventions no. for these? Yeah, there's, like, gem shows and stuff sometimes. You just, honestly, the good place to look is Facebook to see where it is around your area. Okay. Nice. Mood rings. <clears throat> if you are obsessed with mood rings, you like crystals now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would literally run my mood ring under the tap water just to see it change. I was like, oh my god, the color is changing. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite rock is the rock. I mean, he is definitely the biggest one. Um, has 
did we talk about everything today? So we talked about tarot cards. We even talked about astrology, mm -hmm. crystals. Because I know we have to go do stuff. I know. We Honestly, I didn't think we were going to talk about astrology, but... Whew. Yeah, I forgot. Oh, I guess that's part of it, yeah. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, and to... We kind of got through everything even more, to be honest. Yeah, that's why I was yeah. like... Good thing I didn't create a list, because I felt like... If you guys have any other... Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> it's, it's cool when... Um things just come naturally um was there any other questions that you guys have um I, i'm kind of just like <laughs> i don't yeah, know because i know goddess has to you have the rest of your day and i will say though guys um if you guys do enjoy the podcast um let me know or like you know we're gonna keep doing it i will say also we didn't actually finish talking about everything we wanted because goddess also owns her own business so if you guys oh like goddess God. she's gonna come back <laughs> next time and she can talk about her online store where she sells jewelry which i think would be also very fun uh yeah, yeah that would be cool yeah i think it'd be nice because we want to talk about it like today but i'm kind of like it was hard to link it together Mm -hmm. so whenever you're free goddess let me know we can come back as a guest <laughs> oh yeah definitely <laughs> yeah oh yeah thank you mio so yeah go follow goddess guys she has her twitch she has two instagrams and then she has her twitter and her shop wait why do you have two instagrams one's for the store right mm -hmm. yeah one's for the store and one's for like actual like twitch stuff yes yes so yeah go check it out the shopify link though let me look at that oh <laughs> so cute yeah oh my god entrepreneur let's go mm, i'm trying <laughs> oh okay i'm looking at your store oh my god i remember you were packing your clips the other day mm -hmm. I oh love... yeah on stream yeah yeah <laughs> oh my god they're so cute i love the brown bunnies what's it called again oh um her name's mocha oh cute <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for sharing stuff to us. Pepegas. Yo, you guys are not Pepegas. Oh, yeah. Dude, totally. I'm Honestly, I'm so open with this stuff. I, you just have to ask. <laughs> so. Yeah, for sure. The thing is, um, what I like, because I, I, like, you've been doing, like, this tarot stuff for a while. I think my community is a little bit more like they don't know what's going on. So it's nice that you could have, mm -hmm. you could teach people. And you guys, you know, there's nothing wrong with not knowing. Like, we're all learning here. And Definitely. I'm, yeah, and I'm glad that everyone is able to be open-minded. Because um, the one thing that is, like, the worst is, like, when people are closed-minded and they're just like, no, these things aren't whatever. At the end of the day, guys, we're having fun. This is not mm -hmm. a make it or break it. We're just chilling. It's fucking Sunday, so thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you sent me your rock? Okay, let me look at it. Oh, you actually have a rock! Oh my god, wait, that's cute. I thought you were trolling, Chad. You kept talking about your concrete slab, but then I'm like, what's the one on top? Imagine. Wait, what kind of rock is this? Can I send it to you, Goddess? You can tell me. Oh yeah, sure. Okay, I'll send it to the DMs. What is that? Wait, your file is too powerful. Wait, what? Okay, uh, how about Oh, wait. Here? Oh, you didn't send it. Okay. Yeah, it didn't. Okay, I sent it. Now. It was, like, not letting me. Oh, my God. What is that? You have jade? Oh, my God. I have a jade turtle. It looks like now. blue. It's but blue? like, a dark blue. No, blue. Okay, okay. It looks like blue, um, yeah. Inside, too. Mm, girl, I don't know. I'm not the rock expert. I don't know. It's, like, a dark kind of, like, blue. Oh, it's might be, like blue agit but it, i don't know if that's that either because it's not like soft like a soft blue i don't know uh. yeah i have a jade necklace from from asia but it, it's it's a turtle i never wore i don't know why i bought it i just bought mm -hmm. it because i thought it was cute i think i gave it to my dad <laughs> <laughs> turns out he really had a concrete and a rock <laughs> i mean true I found it outside when I was little. Aw, cute. Honestly, cute. I think a lot of us used to collect stuff from the ground, which I don't think is wrong. I used to have a rock collection too, and then I moved and I it was too heavy, so I just threw them out. <laughs> the rock expert. Geologist. Okay. 
Well, if you guys don't have any questions, I think we're going to end the stream now. But uh, thank you, Goddess, so much for being my first official guest and being the best guest ever. Guys, go follow her social medias <laughs> once again. Uh, and when are you? Are you going to stream this week? So, oh, well, first, thank you so much for having me on the podcast. Honestly, I was really nervous about it, but I'm actually really happy that I did it. Um Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. Um, I'm actually going to stream tomorrow. I'm actually creating the schedule today. So I'll have that up if you're in my Discord. Um, and I'll oh, yeah. also put it on Instagram and on Twitter as well. If you guys follow me there too. Um, so yeah. I'll be streaming tomorrow. <laughs> okay, yay. This is such a pure podcast I love. Oh my god. Angel, you're such a sweetie. <laughs> Yo, d does Angel stream? Oh no, God. I don't think, I don't think she does actually. Sorry, I don't have mods. I have to, I have to quickly click that. <laughs> That's a rock. Oh my God, stop it. I mean, it is definitely. Okay, because I was like, oh my God, Angel, you seem so sweet. Like, I feel like we would all just get along. <laughs> that yeah. was a rock. Yeah, oh we God. would. Oh my God. Yeah, oh my God. Um, But yeah, okay, guys. Um, Yo. I think Goddess will be on the podcast at one point again, just because she can talk about the small business. I think that'd be really fun. Mm -hmm. But, um... Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you for being here. And, um... Tell Slicer, hey. <laughs> tell him I don't... Oh, yeah, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I know I but said But thank it you so much here. for having me on the podcast. I really, really appreciate it, okay? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> anytime, anytime. Okay. Okay, okay, I think that's it. <laughs> Bye, guys. Okay. Bye. Bye.